guess enough of this anti monarchist hate speech. Please tell me this isn't the recording. Hmm? It is now. So it's not in the recording, but why we all are very anti monarchist and think King Charles should be assassinated. I love the king. I had never killed the king. I don't know what you're talking about. I think King Charles <laughs> should. I think King Charles should be beaten to death I, in front of his entire family. I, I definitely have never been within 30 feet of the king. king. Says a lot. I, I think the entire family. There are a number of doppelgangers that look like me in England. It's not me. <laughs> I think. I think his entire family. Any resemblance be to me is purely a coincidence. <laughs> This is the moment Paul puts in the fucking recording that uh, if if I go to prison, I am not going to kill myself. I will not kill myself. <laughs> if I've committed suicide, it's foul play. <laughs> now, let's be honest, everybody yeah. already knows that. <laughs> I will fucking r raccoon myself until I'm 120 at least. God. Fucking hope I don't make it that long. I want to make it that long. I don't have to outlive many people, I just have to outlive Charles. Can somebody please uh, put on different music? I am I think this is... distracted me. I genuinely, I, I cannot uh... start with this plane. Fuck, I'm lost. I, I don't know but you, I there think this go. is great music for exploring the Ember Temple. Alright, one sec. Yes, It'd be good for like a highlights reel. Of your <laughs> shit getting pushed in. Yeah. Just clip after clip of screaming and brutality. Again, the castle montage of everything that um, this guy's character has done. Sorry, Nathan's character. It's just a montage uh, not of Nathan, Nathan's this character, guy. Just to be. I've known you. Just I've known you for like. Uh -huh. I've known you for fucking like nine years, and I'm still really? this guy to you. It's not been nine years. Well, I've twenty. We next year will be eight, nine years. Yeah, eight, I've known you for eight years, Amira. My God, that's a wild. It is. It's like a third of your lives. Yeah, it's a wild to be. Ah. It's, a, it's a wild to be still Imagine called I... this guy. <laughs> Let's say that right fucking now. Hey, you have to at least call him this cunt. I mean, sometimes when she's talking about you, she'll be like, um, she'll be like, uh, um, like clicking her fingers and be like, guy I went to uni with, and I'm like, oh Nathan. And she's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. You're like the, the first one, like, oh Joe. No, no, not Joe. Uh, <laughs> Oh, together, oh, well. lived, lived together for uh, four Chris? years. Uh, the one with the nose, the one with the nose. Ah, Nathan. No, it's usually when he says the repeating hairline one. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Why are you still drinking out of a jar? What do you mean? Like you're Why a 12th you century peasant. Why are you doing this? 12th century peasants didn't have jars, Paul. Who oh, me lord? <laughs> we don't know what glasses is me lord. We can't this... goblets, so I drink good me jam this jar. Is some, this, is, this is high quality Ooh. glass. And I'm not just a fucking I'm not marmalade wasting. jar. I'm not I know it. that is exactly not... what it is. It's, it's not a marmalade it's jar, a Paul. It's a fucking bear over here. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a marmalade jar, actually. It's a fucking pasta jar. Get your facts right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, every day is a W. Every, every day is a W day for me. Motherfucker's drinking out of Uncle Ben's vase. Nathan, it's today your W day. It's your W day. It's a my W day. That's an old ad, sir, but check it out. Was Uncle Ben the guy that was removed from his own jars? Yeah. 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 Why? Just because he's black, they would do that to him? Yes. Yeah, exactly, the racist. Can't racist. have black people in jars. Can't have black yeah. people in jars like, anywhere. You got, yeah. you got like, what do you call it? Anti racism all wrong people. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so really, what they should have done is should put a should put a Chinese person in the jar and called him Uncle Ben. I mean. <laughs> that, 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 you could just get that fucking guy. The, the, the guy. Oh, not Uncle Roger. You ever seen Uncle yeah. Roger? Um, Guy from Ready Steady Cook? No. The fucking the anyway. YouTuber. Whatever. <laughs> we've been recording. <laughs> I've got, anyway. We've anyway. Got, we've got uh, five minutes of just unusable fucking nothing here already. Excellent. Maybe we I mean, edited the videos before no, posting. No them. editing. No editing. Everything stays in. Nothing goes. Everything stays in. In that case, shall we start then? Yes. Yeah. So, I'm going to actually immediately move you all onto the map. Oh. <gasps> okay, let me just uh, get this out of the way now. Just before, before we truly start. Uh, where is it? 
There we go. What's this music? <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Uh, oh, good. Oh, good. oh, 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 oh really? Cut the oh, okay. Hey! Well, oh, 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 your ult. It's all right. Oh. I'm definitely gonna die this session. I wasted those rules. Uh, <laughs> uh, so. What's the fucking hell is this big map? That's fucking massive, holy shit. Yeah, one, yeah, uh, one square is 10 feet on this. That's I'm why I've made all extra tiny. Fuck me. So okay. each square has four squares in it. Just bear that in mind for this entire fucking thing. Right. Didn't think to, uh, so. didn't think to map it to the... Slide. Oh! Fuck, no, no because I couldn't. Trust me. I spent about 45 minutes trying to do that. It's a cunt, isn't it? It is a bit of a cunt. So you'll we'll have, have to, to manually move your people. We can't use the ruler, we'll have to use our minds instead, boys. <laughs> I mean, the square, there's, there's, there are squares, so we're like, it's not that difficult to work it out. To fucking count. To it might be get difficult when we talk about diagonals, but it's fine. It, you saying rule 20 doesn't do it for me anymore? Unplayable. Unplayable game. It can't my friend. Sorry, Reese. Oh, Jones also awful. I had a fucking great, like, I had a map on this. Put on all the fucking, you know, GM covered, like, monsters everywhere and everything like that. Wrong there. Then realized the map had the, it was straight out of the book, had all the labels for secret doors. Fuck. Oh, fuck. So oh, I sat think... debating for like 10 minutes. Do I just oh, keep that's... this and just tell them, hey, just don't matter this. If you see a little S that means secret door, just ignore it. Just pretend it's not there. <laughs> then I was like, nah, fuck it. I'll just remove the map. Which now means it'll take me longer every time you open it. Because like, the other map had like each room like labeled like one, two, three, four. Which means it'll take me longer now to like sit and like every time you enter your room, I have to like look it up on the book map, see what number it is, then go to the corresponding paragraph describing it. So. I do have Bear Dungeon Delver Reese. So. What does that do? <laughs> what the fuck? You took Dungeon Delver. You fucking takes, sociopath. Who takes Dungeon sessions Delver? And sessions ago, I took Dungeon Delver. <laughs> uh, I have an advantage on checks to find secret doors and traps. And avoid I, this is the first time I've ever seen this actually need, be required no. or necessary. Look no, at him. What look at him. Be? Look six at him. six look months at him. ago when I made this character, I'm like, you know what? We'll probably go to a dungeon at some point. Dungeon Delver sounds good. Look at him. Look at look at his face. Absolutely useless in every scenario except this. Look at his fucking face. <laughs> look at him. Just go fuck. So I could have just kept that map. Is what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> No, no, it's not even I don't know. I think it's great that you have that feat because it means you find the secret rooms, you find extra stuff. That's fantastic. I'm genuinely annoyed that I had to remove that map and put a new one on that was a slightly different size, and then had to be fucking rejigger it and move all the fucking monsters. Maybe you should just know about your players and this is a better risk. Oh, 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 oh. I'm fighting um. worse. Maybe I should. I'm not gonna lie. I've never once looked at your seal sheet, so. Oh Jesus! Probably, 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 you should probably do that. Um, sorry. Nah. I can't see the map. What? It's uh, very maybe move, move your yeah, move it down to the very big. bottom left. Oh. oh it's kind of it's yeah. kind of big. Comes up though. Yeah, zooming out to. Eighty uh, percent. Got it. Thank you. Decent. Oh, actually, in fairness, though, it does look far, far bigger than it actually is, because um, the sheet's not the correct size. It's fine. Perfect. I hope so. Alright. So. Yeah. <laughs> allow me just a moment. Hold on, do I also have... Because this is, like, the second biggest chapter in the book. Oh, Paul, God. whatever, what other fuckery have you taken? <laughs> you done. Is F A C A D E facade or facade? Facade. Facade. Even when it's talking about like, not a facade in that you're like presenting a facade, like a facade in description of facade, like a like a building. <laughs> no. Oh yes, yes, uh, yeah, in, uh, for, yes, also in the building. Yeah. Oh, it's all the same. Okay. That's why the only second level spell I ever use Sean is magic weapon. It's fine then. It's absolutely fine. <laughs> Uh, okay. Do you huh? have magic weapon too? All of you have magic weapon? Magic sure weapon's like the only second level spell I ever use. Mm -hmm. So many needs. Not anymore. 
For this exact scenario, I have also accounted for it. Shite bag. <laughs> <laughs> God. Uh, it's just Gert playing a ranger that can never get lost and can find everything. Mm -hmm. So. So. The roads fades away under a covering of snow, but it takes you far enough to see the facade of some kind of temple carved into the sheer mountainside ahead. The front of the structure is 50 feet high and has six alcoves containing 20 foot tall statues. Each statue is carved from a single block of amber and depicts a faceless hooded figure, its hands pressed together in a gesture of prayer. Between the two innermost statues is a 20 foot tall archway with a large ornate door currently shut closed. What? Above, oh, one more thing. Above the door, there's like an inscription. Um, it seems like the design of the front is very, you know, ornate, very regal almost. This seems like it was carved in very quickly and like definitely after the place was built. It says. If you seek honor or power, turn back, for these walls hold naught but doom. In amber tombs below, the darkness shelters a timeless evil. This temple is infected with a scourge of malevolent divinity. Our arrogance and folly forge this place into our prison. Leave now before our damnation becomes yours. <clears throat> like hell we will. Hmm? Like hell we will. I don't, uh, I don't know, I think, I think it's got a point. You know? Yeah, um, not gonna lie, boys, that, that doesn't sound good. Does anybody have a passive perception of 15 or greater? Yes. Okay. Yes. Anybody who does would notice yeah, that so to the, the left hand side, um, leading off from this trail, you can see, like, like maybe like a day old or two, or maybe a couple days old, like tracks that lead off to the left to the far side. Um, Almost like around a corner a little bit, uh, past the last statue on the left. Uh, that must be the crack in the wall, the other entrance that the uh, werewolf told us about, isn't it? Oh yeah. Much better than going in through mm. the front. <laughs> yeah, it's actually not a bad shout there, but... You guys want to be scattered out like usual and you follow like uh, 10 to 15 feet behind? Sounds a good plan. Yeah, that sounds like a great plan. <clears throat> uh, Perfect. While we're traveling, by the way, Reese, would you mind if yes. I cast a uh, bark skin upon myself? You absolutely may. Wonderful, thank you very much. I'd like to pull up the hood of my cloak, Chris. Cool. Yep. And uh, begin heading over. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Everybody begins trilling along behind you. Mm -hmm. uh, keeping about, yeah, like 10, 15 feet away, but the rest of the group staying pretty much together. Um, as you get closer and closer, you see, and eventually you start to like get around that uh, corner, you see that. Um, it goes back a little bit, and then in the like back right hand side, there's a little like crack that you could definitely squeeze through, like going sideways. It's very very tight, but it's definitely like you could get through it, no problem. Uh, as you get like right up to that point, you can make out the faint like flicker of firelight from the other side, as well as like the low murmur of like voices of individuals like speaking back and forth. Hmm, kind of like. Wait and look, peer through the crack to see if any see see if I hear, see any shadows pass it or see any like people pass it. Sure. Uh, you wait. Um, make me a stealth check real quick. Okay. Uh, let me check. Yes, perfect. I have advantage. Is that because of being? Is that dungeon delver gives you advantage of stealth checks on a dungeon? Or? That is my cloak of elven kind, which I got. Like, ah. Well, before we started climbing the mountain. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, so you wait. You maybe go in like maybe five-ish feet or so into the crack and kind of just like peer through. You're pretty confident that like because of how dark the crack is that the, anybody passing probably wouldn't notice you. Mm. Um. You like listen. Wait. At one point, like a shadow does, like a figure does cross in front of the crack. Um, you can't really make out anybody else, but you, after listening for like maybe 30 seconds or so, 
the language being spoken you don't know well you don't understand what they're saying but you recognize it as sounding very similar to the language spoken by the mountain folk in whose village mm. you stayed okay it's fair to assume that this is the chieftain's daughter and her companions i like peering a little bit more until i can just see them just to make sure mm -hmm. creep forward a little bit more peering through from the angle to crack you can definitely see probably like three of them mm -hmm. um doing various things one's just kind of like standing your know, back against a wall just like looking at the ceiling like almost like a little board looking another one seems to be tending to like a small like campfire in the middle they've lit um another one like is just sharpening their axe while like speaking with another one out of sight you can't see um and besides the like furthest the, the wall opposite the crack you can make out what looks like a large uh winter wolf currently just lying like paws kind of like crossed head on its paws not quite sure if it's asleep or <clears throat> what but okay uh perfect no worries i'll just make my way into the room um i'll pull down my cloak so you can see me and just like I'm not sneaking in, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Fair. Like, slide in through the crack, so they... I don't mind making noise at this point, so... Okay. As you, um... Boop. As you pop your way in, um... You can see there are a total of five of these, like, mountain folk. Seems to be, like, four women, one man. Um, mm -hmm. the wolf. Uh, as well as then another looks like a corpse lying on one of the bed rolls as you step in the five immediately like jump to their feet weapons raised um begin yelling at each other in that language the wolf like stands begins snarling at you whoa 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 raise my hand like hold on calm down calm down one of them i like tap the amulet i have with like amber Oh, oh, oh. One of them like steps. Oh, that's the wrong fucking. One of them steps forwards to about there or so. Mm -hmm. She's got like large. Uh, she's actually got. This is kind of like a large glaive. Um, she looks at you, like weapon kind of like pointed, raised, and then looks at the amulet you're point like tapping at, mm -hmm. and then sort of like looks a little like cocks head slightly says something in that language to somebody else and they take a step forward like look at it and they kind of like nod their heads say something back to her and she like looks at you that is Halder's work how come you buy it i purchased it often for some gems when we were in your camp with casimir maybe two three nights ago she kind of like looks at the rest you were in Yedrak? Mm hmm. Yes, Casimir took us there uh, to stop while we were climbing the mountain. She kind of like, eyes kind of like flick past you. And... Casimir and who else? Just the two of you? Oh, no, my friends are out there as well. There's another two, 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 one, two, three, four of us in Casimir. Five, five in Casimir total. Casimir is like our guide. Alright. I know Casimir. One of you is the chieftain's daughter, yes? I am. Ah, perfect. Good to see you're in good health. He spoke a lot of you. Still seems very, like, wary, but, like, her guard has definitely, like, dropped considerably, and as hers <clears> does, the rest of her companions seem to have, like, as well. But they're still, like, ready for, like, at a moment's notice kind of thing. <clears throat> what brings you here? We've come to search the Amber, Amber Temple for uh, assistance in killing Strad. Right, my, she kind of like... no more than me, but uh, that's, that's, the base, that's the base of it. She kind of like, almost like double takes, like... Seems speechless for a moment. Well... Of course, you, you may do as you may. I 
strongly recommend against it, but uh, for the time you are here, I suppose you may rest with us. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, I, we don't want to interrupt your ritual or anything like that. Just so. She kind of just like nods, like or checks her head a little bit, and her eyes kind of like flick up to the ceilings a little. And... Like, even, even though there's, even though there's like, uh, like the the ceiling of this room is maybe only like twenty foot up, and there's you know there's torches around the walls, there's a campfire in the middle, but like that light just does not seem to be reaching the top of this room. It's just Ooh. almost pitch dark up there. Interesting. Like you can just about make out the roof, but like it's really difficult. It's very strange. Hmm. Well, we know that the wizard sealed this place. Oh, I would be careful going back down the mountain. The rock is very angry, and uh, Rahadin is sort of kicking about down there, so he might be gone by now. Well, I still have two more days to spend here. It took us longer getting here than I would have liked. How did you get past the big doors of fire? She pulls out, like, a small amulet from her, like, beneath her tunic mm -hmm. um it doesn't look like much to you it just seems to be like it's um looks like a piece of like a bluish gem mm -hmm. that seems to be like wrapped in a very similar like the like the twig and vine that your amber amulet is wrapped in mm -hmm. um it's just like wrapped in the same kind of style but instead of amber it's just like a bluish gem um uh, this Amulet allows whoever wearing it to pass through. It's passed oh. down from chief to chief. Excellent, very useful. Hmm. Well, thank you for indulging me. Of course. Uh, can I bring my best of my friends too? It's very cold out there. Actually, it's really heat or is it cold? You're too far from the campfire to really tell, um, yeah. but like. I mean, your back is still to the crack, where there's like a cold breeze coming in. Mm. Um, and as you look, looking at all of them, they're all still like fully wrapped up. Yeah, like there's a fire in this room. There's plenty of torches. There's they shouldn't be fully wrapped up, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, like okay. they still like every now and then, if one of them like breathes heavily, you can like see their breath a little bit. Mm. Which, but yeah, she just nods as you ask about bringing your companions in. Ah, perfect. Uh, come on in, guys. Uh, the chief's daughter is in here. Oh. I sort of like shimmy into the room, get closer to the fire, try to warm my hands up. All right. Yeah, oh boy, I did. Because you all begin making what your the way fuck in. Was that Grigori? Um, you're still met with like an amount of wariness, hesitation. Um, some of them mm -hmm. sort of like two of them begin to kind of go grouping together beside each other, and like they're like still very wary. Um, given that they. It does seem that one of their number has already passed away. Um, mm -hmm. Perhaps part of it. Um, you see, as you like go up to that fire, you're like putting your hands on it, and like, you know, you normally when a fire is lit, you can feel the heat from a good, you know, a meter, mm -hmm. a meter and a half away. You have to get within like half a meter of this to feel heat. Mm, I don't like this place already. I said it was fucking cold. So as the rest of you all. Pop in. Yes. So I didn't mean to move you, Nathan. Sounds like there's a bit of dark magic here. Oh, just a little bit. It makes sense with the wizard would have cut this place off. Do any of them like recognize Casimir when he walks in? I would say the the guy Harold. Um, whenever Casimir walks in, Harold definitely like he completely lowers his axe, mm -hmm. sees Casimir, and kind of like walks over to him and like claps him on the shoulder kind of thing and says something in that language, Casimir responds, they share a quick chuckle. Mm -hmm. right. Put him over there, he just goes down upside him. Alright. Uh, I guess we're going to continue on then. Do you know anything further into the temple we should be wary of? or We have only come as far as this room. There's no need for us to go further, and to go further would probably mean death. That's very wise of you in that case. Okay, um, 
Be careful in here. Something's already killed one of us. Oh. Oh yeah. My condolences. You know you know what it was? The one of the other women, the Astrid, she um kinda like speaks up and we don't much to my annoyance, but something came in here and killed Bjorn. I found his body the next morning. Can I take a look? Yeah, uh, Helwa kind of gestures her hands, like, go ahead. I go, like, go for him. Can I roll, like, a survival, like, monster knowledge roll to see if I can tell mm. if something killed him that I might know of? If it was, like, a monstrosity or an undead? Sh sure. Uh, be like, uh, some sort of print test, I guess. So what, like, what do you want me to roll for this? Um, I mean, just roll survival. Um, survival? Um, see. Okay, let's go... <laughs> Double fourteens. Double fourteens. Okay. As you, like, look at him, and... Uh, at first you don't notice any injuries, and then, uh... Hell was says his back and you kind of like turn him over and you see that like from almost like his like one shoulder to like the bottom of his hip there's just two massive slash marks right down his spine um i just noticed like a weird like puncture mark in the shoulder like four like four like almost like a square shape like four puncture marks like deep in the shoulder uh -huh. And like the skin and flesh is very yellowy and green all around that area. I don't really recall what could have done that. You don't. Uh, okay. Of course. Mm, it's uh, something's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't grasp it. Okay. Well, be careful anyway. Thank you for letting me have a look. If we kill it, I'll bring you its head or something. I would appreciate that. <coughs> there you are. It does talk and kill us best. It might kill you, Gregory, but you've already died twice this time, so let's not make it a third. Yeah, it's been a strange trip. What they say? Third time's the charm? It's been a weird fucking trip, mate. Uh, uh, only one of us has actually gone to the, uh, the underworld and come back, so it's been a longer trip for you than anybody else, I guess. Oof. Anyway, right door? Anybody disagree? Mm. I could sort of make my way towards the stories. Sure. Uh, both the doors leading out of this room seem pretty much identical in design and look. So, um, just like very plain wooden double doors. Hmm. Uh, you pop over to that one? Yep, pop over to it, pull my hood up again, crouch down, sort of like try to hide myself. For right now, I'll, uh, I'll signal you when it's safe to come through, if it's safe. Oh, I just get it, nods and agreement, yeah. Alright, I can creak the door open and peer okay. on in. Creak the door very slowly, very gingerly. Um, find yourself in what looks like a, at first glance, like a long kind of corridor looking area as you creak it open. Um, could you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. See your, on your little token, could you put like, you know, the aura thing? Oh, okay. Uh, token aura, yes. Okay. Set it to 20 feet. 20 feet circle? Yeah. Okay, actually wait, because this is double. Actually, put it to 10 feet because this is, um, the map's fucked. Oh, okay. Uh, this is how far I can see, I guess? Yes. Does dark vision help that, or is this no. not? No. Okay, nice. This is with dark vision. I like it. I like it a lot. As you, like, creak open these doors, you're just met with just impenetrable darkness, and you feel incredibly uneasy. You can almost feel the malevolent evilness of this place. As there's just yeah, constant yeah. sounds of like whispers and gasps and just breaths. It's like you know, what, you know, what, like in like uh, in Minecraft when you're like down in like the deep dungeons and stuff, and there's just oh, like those yeah. weird fucking noises and shit. Mm. It's just kind of like that. It's just an oppressive, dark, and Sometimes silence, just punctuated with these, like, gasps. Lovely. As you step through the door, 
you notice immediately to your left there seems to be stairs that descend downwards into the dark. Uh, let me reveal a little bit. Boop, boop. Okay. Can I pop primeval awareness then? Sure. So, for the next minute, I can sense any celestial dragons, elementals, fey, fiends, and undead, and aberrations. <laughs> Within one mile of me. Uh, does it do the thing where a foot of stone blocks that? Nope. It doesn't? Nope. Okay. Let me see, what are all of these? How much of a headache do I get? Oh, buddy. Uh, let me check if that is one as well. Um... Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Ah, this is like the one thing I didn't have opened. What is this creature? Ah, sorry, could you read out the list again? It is... Aberrations, Celestials, Dragons, Elementals, Fey, Fiends, and Undead. Okay. Not monstrosity. Your head pounds. Trouble you see. detect like a lot of undead immediately. Does it tell you the? It tells me the type, but it won't tell me the name. So if it's a vampire, I'll get like higher vampire, but I won't get Strad von Zarovich. Okay. You detect a lot of flame skulls. Ah. You detect a lot of vampire spawn. Oh uh -huh. no. You also detect a fiend. An arcana lof. Sorry. A what? Uh, the ble bless you. Can I what? roll a in investigation or something to know what that is? Or... Sure. What the fuck did you use that? What is that? Arcana lof. I'll investigation, I guess. I don't have advantage in this. 17. 17. <laughs> Not Your knowledge of fiends is not substantial, mm -hmm. um, but some like Arcanaloth does vaguely ring a bell. What springs to mind is a creature that's very powerful in terms of magic, mm -hmm. and is not like. Uh, It's not like super high up there in terms of like, you know, super Entire. deadly, dangerous fiends. They definitely are like in the lower kind of, um, they're low in the hierarchy, mm -hmm. but nonetheless very powerful. Okay. I mean, it is a demon, so yes. Yep. Yeah. That's, that'd be probably the most powerful thing I'd detect then apart from the vampire spawn, would you say? Yeah, I would say, yeah, that probably is the most powerful. Um, aside from that, though, <laughs> something else kind of Jesus Christ. pings up. Uh -huh. You... You know, like... Try to think. I imagine the... the flame skulls, the vampire spawn, they kind of like, they're almost like little like candles in mm -hmm. the darkness in your mind. They're kind of off, almost like a campfire. Uh, oh, sorry, there's- sorry, you take one more undead. Mm. You just take a lich. Fucking- Ah, 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 hold on. Let me- let me write this- let me write this Jesus down. Hold fuck. on. Um, so, so uh, vampire spawn, that. flame skulls, lich, a fucking demon. Our canal off. And our canal off. Where's my- Jesus fucking Christ. I'm gonna need to actually write down. I'm actually um, getting scared, boys. Fuck. So, like, you know, the, the flame skulls, the vampire spawn, they're kind of like candles. Uh huh. They are kind of It's kind of like almost like a, almost like a small campfire. Uh huh. The lich. It's like almost like a bonfire. Mhm. Mm but there's something, in like the bottom <laughs> Come on! floor, that just <laughs> seems to like emanate throughout the entirety of bottom level of this um temple. And it's just like a blazing inferno. You don't know what it is. We're in hell. It's like if, if if like if the undead all pick up as like red, uh -huh. the fiend picks up as blue. Normally celestials are like yellow, maybe fey or like green. This keeps changing colors. Not good. Oh. 
What? You summon a toast fuck? Oh, yeah. I imagine for everybody else's point of view, they see you steal, creep through the door, like, her eyes just flutter as she does the Premier and then just, just ah, gets, and then she no, falls back through it. Just gets knocked back from the fart gas. Oh, it's like, Mon Mondieu, are you alright? Oh, we got trouble. Yeah, why are you fucking, why are you, why are you fucking There could be trouble ahead. Hey, simply write this down, we have flame skulls. Mm -hmm. I, I fucking, okay. We get vampire spawn. Mm -hmm. We got the Akanomov? Akanomov? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, that's pretty mm -hmm. bad. That's, that's a sort of demon. It's a fiend. Oh, um, there's, okay. a, the, there's a lich in here. A full blown lich. Mm hmm. Um. And there's something else in the bottom floor. And I don't know what it is. And it really fucking hurts my head. Uh, I turned I turn the page I was writing around. And it's just a, like stick figure drawings of us all dead. <laughs> that's that's closer than you might imagine, yeah. Yeah. No. Um. Are we mm -hmm. sure? Are we sure? What we actually? Are we sure what we're looking for in here is worth it? Well, I don't think we we're looking for any of those things, but from the it sounds like a vampire spawn probably killed their friend. Mm. So he got lucky, is maybe mm. what I could say. Well, vampires is like two punctures. Is that four? That doesn't. Bind with anything that I find in the private of awareness, does it? No. Actually. Oh. Actually, wait. Sorry. Let me check. Fucking, oh, there's more. I don't know if this counts as any of those. Could we get some skips in the, in the jazz bar? Fuck, because fuck, the, we need some dungeon music for this. Yeah, cool. Uh, is this 5e? Hold on. What? What do you mean? <laughs> That's funny. Why don't we just go where we need to go? Uh, do monstrosities ping up? No. Then no. But, actually, no, sorry, Ryza, it, his wounds don't match anything I pinged up, so there is definitely other things in here that I, I can't find using my uh, range of sense. Uh, probably some sort of monstrosity or aberration or something. I'll All have right. to search for it manually. Also, it's very dark out there, like magical darkness. Ten feet is the best you can do. Right, so we're going to be going very slowly, very quiet. I mean, I'll be going at a decent speed, but very quietly. So you'll be going very slowly and very quietly. But definitely let me scout this one out. Understood. Yeah. Okay. And I like, cut off the prime of awareness. I'm like, oh. The headache vanishes. Okay. Right. Well, we don't have any choice but to go forward now. Let's go. And I creep back through the door. Okay. Take a step forwards. And can't really see further, much further than what you'd already seen. Mm -hmm. um, as you step forward, actually, as well, the um, you, you can tell that, like, you appear to be, like, in a, a corridor, and, like, the left is the stairs, and then just beyond that, there seems to be, like, a balcony. Overlooking just like empty space, mm -hmm. um, the balcony itself and the stairs seem to be made of like a black marble, um, and in the walls that you can see to your left and right, there seems to be like inlays of amber that just like wind and weave throughout the like black um, like dark granite of the temple itself. Um, Okay, I'd like to creep along the causeway, searching for, keeping my eye on the floor for any tripwires, pressure plates. Sure. You Loose, creep like, along. Destroyed bits of the fucking walkway that I'd fall through and stuff. Like yeah. Um, as you're tr uh, going along, uh, immediately opposite the staircase to your left, you see there's a door to your right. Uh, hold on, that might not be very visible. I'll just reveal a little bit more. Is that it there? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> uh, it's currently just closed. Mm -hmm. Well, best start there, I guess. Right. Over to it. Yeah. Okay. I'm, fucking... right. I'm just getting. I, I would like to shillelagh my fucking stick just to be ready to bonk at <laughs> anything if there's anything on the other side. Alright, is everybody going? Can you fucking yeah. wait and let me scout this out? Make the numbers, right? <laughs> Yeah, if we just right behind you. 
not gonna lie, mate. If you get grabbed by a, if you get grabbed by a vampire, I'd rather be next to you than fifteen feet behind you. I'd rather you be fifteen feet away from me because I don't get found by the vampire, probably. I mean, you yeah, don't know vampires in here. Oh, vampire spawn, shot. mate. Same thing. Same thing. Die. It's not. It's not the same enough. thing Clamps at all. Enough. They fight, don't want either of them to bite you. You don't want either of them to bite you, do you, mate? You don't want either of them to bite you. Fuck off, we go right. Let me scout. As you guys were kind of having this conversation, mm -hmm. you all hear a voice. You can't tell if it's speaking to you all telepathically, or if it's just echoing through like, this large chamber you're in. Um, the end or roof of which you cannot see. Uh, also, those of you who don't have dark vision, mm -hmm. you're basically walking in pitch dark blackness right now. Hmm. <laughs> so, Len and... I am holding the sales hand. <laughs> or... Whatever is hanging out of her armor. Does Gregory have dark vision? I believe so, yes. As a what even is Gregory again? I'm a dwarf. A dwarf. I'm a fucking oh, yeah. dwarf man. I keep forgetting. Um, so yeah, just land then, I guess. Um, Wait, do have Irina. Dwarf and Irina. Irina's currently still signed at the door. She seems very hesitant to step forwards. It's probably best you stay there for this one, Irina. Uh, yeah, um, just until we get some light around the place. No argument there. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll wait. Um, Once we've done lights, we'll come get you, okay? Casimir continues with you all, as you can see, but he seems to be focused like on the rest of the chamber. Regardless, as you're all you know, briefly in this conversation about, like, like, no, let me scout this out. No, like, we're just staying, stick, strength for numbers, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. You all hear this voice. What brings you here, strangers? Do you seek the secrets of this temple? Yes. Who are you? Oh, omnipresent authority figure. Secrets cannot be taken. Only traded. I would disagree with that one, but you are the uh, probably giant demon in the basement, so I'll let you have that. What are you, anyway? It matters not. Offer me tribute, knowledge, and you may pass. What would be of interest? That is for you to determine. So look around everybody else. Um, might we have a moment to consider what might be of interest? You may. I have time. I'm sure you do. Well, thoughts? Well, well, we have to give we have to uh, give some fucking out of the power to this thing so it doesn't leave us alone. Well, Who doesn't want to know? That's the question. <laughs> that's what I'm asking you, Sam. Probably what stuff that's outside the temple. I, it can't really see outside these four walls. So any information we have on the outside would be of great value, I imagine. Can I try something? What do you want to try? Go for it. Um... Can I... Cast... Wait, is it, is it not letting us through without giving it information or something? That's well, what it seems. Can we just go ahead? Anyway. I, we, I, we could go ahead. I don't think it would be pleased and it might try something. And if this is powerful as I fear, it might not be fun. Mm. But then again, if it doesn't like the information we give it to it, you know. Um, OK. 
Okay. So. Um, okay. I'd like to talk to this thing. Sure. What do you say? Oh, great being. You don't know how scary a reputation this place has among mm. the people outside. Nobody wants to be here voluntarily. And we know we are basically prepared for death having walked in. We are at your mercy. And oh, it's... We're all what? No, go, go. And we are here despite that. We don't. We aren't here to. Uh, invade what's yours or take what's yours we just want to pass can i roll crib persuasion you know what sure <laughs> Nice. None pass without a tribute of knowledge. Yet, I will accept your acceptance of death as one. I see four more of you, four more tributes. Yeah, I'm not fucking. I'm not, I'm not liking this. Right. Okay. Well. Hmm. So what's the fighting? Yeah. Um. <clears throat> what area uh, interests you? History. Oh, what is the name of that fucking? History beyond this temple, provided I do not already know it. Okay, um... Tell me tell, about tell, 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 the fate of Volgan Vost. Uh, yes. Um... The old, the old dragon. Tell him about your wife. <laughs> you know, no one gives a fuck about my wife. <laughs> oh, your Ex-wife. Um, Nobody even knows your wife. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's sorry. not the best. Uh, don't want to. Yeah, our character, really quick, Paul. Were you like thinking the name of the Tahak? I think it is the Five Headed Destroyer. I something like that. No, it was Psyche and the Devourer. And Psyche, like, yeah, sorry, Psyche the Devourer. Yeah. God. Um. What was it? Okay. Uh. I basically just recount the tale of Argonvost and uh, the tale of the Silver Legion uh, as they fell to Strad and the constant onslaught. And how Strad hacked apart his body, and uh, how his skull was stolen by the hag. Count the whole tale to the thing. You hear like a. <clears throat> the fall of Argenvost, I know. But. The location of his skull. That interests me. You may pass. Oh, then. Thanks very much. Uh, might we have your name if we are to be passing through the temple in which you reside? Nephron. N E F E R O N. I'm just stunned. Sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh fucking monster. <laughs> Three more tributes. Oh, we all we all have to. Oh, uh, fucking yes. cut. You stole. You, you, uh, uh, at that, Casimir, kind of like steps forwards. Uh, mighty Nephron, uh, I have. A number of uh, magical items I possess would 
uh, any of these be of interest to you? And he like pulls out like a uh, first of all, like a small like vial of some blue liquids from like his backpack. And then he also like uh, pulls out like what looks like a wand as well. Um, here like a. Mm, The ones, and then like as Casper's like holding up, you just see like a spectral skeletal hand kind of like emerge out of the darkness, and just very lightly pluck the wand from his fingers and retreat back into the darkness. Uh -huh. I whisper to his sail, "Do you know what that is? I have no fucking idea what that is." Do you mean the wand or the hand? Hand. <laughs> Len, you would recognize it as a mage hand. Just not a normal looking one. <laughs> I think we're dealing with someone magical. Stop. Can I can I tell if they're nearby? Wait, mage hand is a uh, what's the range of mage hand? <laughs> mm -hmm. If anyone knows. 30 feet, away, uh, 30 feet away. So this person is 30 feet away from us. Can I cast Detect Magic? Sure. Will that help me find out about this person or the kind of magic they use? Uh, or is it not useful? Would would detect magic work for your magical darkness? I'm tempted to say no. I I don't know. Like, you... if everything if the air around you is magic, you can't really detect magic. Yeah, <laughs> like Len, imagine if you know. Normally, obviously, whenever you cast detect magic, um, anything that is magical like has like a highlight, like Witcher senses has like a highlight around it kind of thing. Mm. So imagine if. You cast that in the middle of like uh, like Mr. Fog. You could probably still make it out, but imagine if that fog itself is magical. So it's just like a wall of magical air. Then shouldn't detect magic detect all of that magic? Yeah, but you can't like see through it. Is what I'm saying. It's like a, it's like a blanket. It's like what yeah. that bread store down the street smells like. I don't know, fuck idea. We're in a perfume shop. Just yes. Spell. Exactly. Was it? So, like, I'd say you don't need to cast a spell, but like, you'd be able to determine this just from like the fact that you cannot see, and it's definitely not a natural darkness. Mm. Okay. I think there's more to this, the darkness in this place, than just the fact that we can't see in it. Yeah. It's mm. definitely uh, magical. <laughs> I've got, a, I've got a question <laughs> as well. No. Anyway, uh, information. One of the wizards who created this place uh, succumbed to a shard of the soul of Saikane, the devourer, and became a Boda. How was that? Hmm. This I did not know. Very good. You may also pass. Last tribute. There's, there's two of us left. Nope, hmm? it's just you. Hmm. I sucked up to it, so I got through. Ah. Uh, well, more so you were like, you were like, I'm here and I know I'm going to die. And it was like, you know what? I'll take that. Kill me! End it all! <laughs> like, nah, this little dude, let's start going. The town of Veliki uh, recently suffered a recently suffered a revolution. <laughs> Burning half of the town to the ground. Mm -hmm. Killing the killing the Baron that lived there. I mean, it's either going to be that or it's going to be 
It's gonna be tales of my wife. Don't think, don't think either of us want to want me to recollect that. Well, be like, what's that thing where you get? Grigori, now is the time you're grasping at straws. Grasp harder. Cause um, cause oh, I'm thinking right. If you go, I'll tell you what. You want to know history? I'll tell you what my sexual history. Grigori, Grigori, you, di- you just died. Tell us about that. Um, oh, well, yeah, I just died. I mean, I was gonna assume that this is some kind of lich that we're talking to, so he knows what's going on after death. So he knows that when you die here, you don't actually die. I nearly got eaten by some kind of fucking horrible monster after I died, my soul getting fucking consumed into the ether or some such. Which is a complete aberration of of the natural water, and I'm not actually a big fan of that. Uh, due to my describe to my, this monster. It, all teeth, all fangs, a a trip. It was a fucking trip to uh, entice the souls that are supposed to be going to the great beyond towards it, and then it, it had massive teeth that would uh that would uh eaten. Uh, myself, my soul in its entirety, and I'm not a big fan of that. I'm not gonna lie. Big scary. Um, it 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 was a it was a hunter in the dark, is what I'd say. A hunter in the dark. Interesting. Some no. of her essence has escaped. This is useful. You no. may pass. <coughs> Fuck me, you shouldn't have told him that, Gregory. I... Well, you you had a suggestion. No, hell, hell. If I'm if I'm man, true. Oh god, a bit of a bit of fucking yeah, cog, a bit of cogman's licking and um, I've got to say, man. Uh, you know, but if I can, I've got to say, if if this is a if this is a somebody that you're not on big friendly terms with, uh, if you tell us a little bit about them, we're not on friendly terms with them either. So. You tell us a little bit about them, we might uh, might assist us in uh, annoying them a little bit if that's uh, what you're interested in. What do you think? <laughs> tell us, tell us what the tell us what the fucking big teeth things name is. You tell us, uh, tell us where it is. You tell us. You're like a soft chuckle. <laughs> being you encountered a, a shard an essence of Psychane the soul hungerer so, oh so I, so I nearly got eaten by a Psychane the soul hungerer that doesn't sound great I'm not gonna lie you are all free to pass I will say one final thing listen Closely. You shall have safe passage to and from the temple, so long as you take no treasure that is not freely given. Be warned, I and my guardians are not the only inhabitants of this place, and those that dwell deeper within may greet you with violence. Your safety is your responsibility. And remember, those that break the accords of the temple shall be condemned to remain. Touch nothing but the lamp. Yeah. 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 Well, thanks. Hi. Thanks very much. Uh... Let's open the door. Bye boy. Just silence. Yeah, don't fucking lock. That's my. You open the door. Yep. It's gonna be very anticlimactic <laughs> as you open it, and there's just some shattered bits of wood covering a like twenty by twenty foot room. Probably, but it is what womp it womp. is. What what? There it is. <laughs> it's completely empty. Yeah. Hmm. Can I give it a good a good look about? A good scour the walls to see what might have been in here. Was it a load of bookcases? Was it a load of desks? Um, like what? What do I think this room might have? Oh, roll, roll me like a perception check. 
already open. Mm. Let's see. Going by like the putting together, well, not putting together, but like looking at the largest pieces of like broken wooden mm -hmm. whatever it is, you're able to put together that it looked like it was a lot of uh, like weapon racks that would have held you know, maybe spears or bows or something you're not sure any weapons that might have been here are gone but you're pretty sure it was like weapon racks you think this might have been some sort of like barracks like weapon barracks or something um i'd say with that 18 as well because of dungeon delver you notice a slight change in the layout of the bricks on the wall to your left when you walk into the room Peer at it more closely and like trace my fingers along it. Is it yeah, like, like you're able to like, as you like do that, you're able to see that like like pulling pushing out like almost a line of dust like uh -huh. along it. You can definitely trace out what looks like a door. Whoa. Um, look for the, me the mechanism to open it. Let me see. Does it actually specify? Um, after like looking around it for a second. You're like, yeah, you find yourself, okay, there's obviously some sort of mechanism that opens this door. And, like, looking to the right of the door, you see that there's, like, one brick that sticks out, maybe, like, barely a centimeter out of the wall. You give that a wee press, mm -hmm. and the door, you hear it, like, <clears throat> and very slowly, like, creaks open as a stone grates on stone. And find yourself in a another little room. Well, it looks like I found something. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. right, we can... You look inside. Mm -hmm. Room is completely empty. Aside from a pair of arrow slits that look out into the, the main corridor that would lead into the temple. Hmm. Oh. Interesting. So let's use a room to basically Can I through the arrow slits to see what's through there? Mm -hmm. mm. Go up to them. You can see through a corridor and see a pair of opposite arrow slits. Hmm. Definitely. Some sort of killer box, probably. Hmm. Yeah. Yes, fuck people assaulting the temple or to murder the escapees? Probably assaulting, judging by the stairs. Mm, good point, actually. No. If it was escapees, you'd have arrow slits in the outer wall, sure. True. Oh, nothing else in that room then, I'll... Literally nothing. Head back into the corridor. Sure. Right, let's uh, continue down this walkway then. Right, keep it up, okay. this is covered. I fucking pull my hood up again and go, right, get the fuck away, Nick Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go fucking scout, mate. Next time you get asked for a fucking question about, about your fucking whatever, just give us a shout. <laughs> yeah, love you, I like the idea you do that in your life. As, um... So, uh, you see Gregory and Loon, you were all in those two rooms, like, looking around. Len, what were you doing? Did you go into those rooms as well? Yeah, I did. Oh, did I not move my character? Okay, so did all four of you go in? Yeah, because I am still holding on to your sails, whatever, cable <laughs> or something. Okay. As you all come back out, um, you may or may not notice. You don't see Casimir anymore. Oh. Fuck. Fucking cunt. What the oh. I knew there was something going on with that guy. I knew it. Well, I'm sure we'll bump into him again at some point. Dead or alive. Uh, shit. Is there any sort of, a, if I look at the floor, is uh. there any sort of markings to mark where you might have went? To, like, has the um, dust been unsettled? Or... I'd say, yeah, there's definitely a thick layer of dust. You could see that, like, where he was standing, like, beside where Lan was, seems that, like, probably once you all went into that room, his footsteps just immediately went down the stairs. Ah, oh, fuck, he's going down. So he wasn't dragged, oh. he just walked off. How did he do that? Off. Okay, let's go after him before uh, he fucks or something and gets us all killed. Yeah. I wonder why he would have done that at all. Oh, he's a fucking uh, he wanted cunt. to come to the upper temples for some time. He's thinking about to kill Rahadin. 
But it did kill all the women and children of his race, so I can imagine he's pretty pissed at that. Mm, yeah, yeah. you can fucking afford I can't to wipe pissed at that, and I'm not even fucking racist. Mm. Okay, I fucking keep going. Can I? Mm. Uh, oh. I don't know, I'm trying to read the rules. I could cast Detect Thoughts to find him, maybe. I think you have to be able to see the target for that. Mm -hmm. I could mm -hmm. I could cast locate object. He's not an object though. I could cast locate object on his fucking magic uh, ring that keeps him warm. Oh, uh, that's true. Yeah, you're also right. He, he, he he's not a woman. I mean, for this. Wait, what? <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? It's okay. Oh, yeah. He's just you're making right. a sexist joke. It's okay. Sorry. Right. Sorry. Anyway. The cobra. Uh... The cobra head's coming up. <laughs> To my right wrist, are these more outlets? Left, sorry. Um, they are on the same level of the bill, like the upper floor. Mm. You've now descended into the lower floor. Um, those arrow slits are like, you know, a story above you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So they are. As you like, look at the, up at them, you see a very faint greenish glow behind some of them. Mm. Well, as long as the accord is kept, I should be okay. Right, come down the stairs. It's safe enough. I'm going to go in a bit further. I don't know what. Can I? Uh, oh, wait, actually. Fuck! Shit. I should... Shit. Now that you're on the bottom floor, I need to move you to a different map. You should, you should do fucking nothing, mate! Ruh-ruh-raggy. Right, right, raggy, right, right, raggy. Uh, if you all look to the right on roll 20, you should see an area that has been cleared. Oh, fuck. Oh, there's multiple layers. Hold on, let me... Hold on. Uh, I apologize, this other map is much lower quality, but it does have the right size of hexes, or no, squares, no. so that's nice. Uh, so I saw over to that one. Just the staircase, that one. So that was roughly there, I imagine. Yeah, give or take, I'd say. See, I was just hoping that it, the actual page wasn't sized correctly. This is so much worse. Fuck. <laughs> this is such a big map. It is a big map. As you descend... Um, let me just double check something. Uh, yeah, it's X5. So, as you come into this room, you would have passed a large um like black marble column at the bottom of the stairs and you see you can just about in the darkness make out like another one ahead of you um i can't describe that yet you can't see it um so uh you can see to your left there seems to be an arched like hallway um, coated with like these same like amber inlays along the walls leading to like the west. Um, an alcove you pass by has a white marble statue of like a robed human wizard with like pointed hat, golden staff um, that you pass by. Hmm. And that's all I can really describe right now because you can't see much. Do I, can I still see footprints of Casimir or have I lost them? At the bottom of the stairs they vanish as there doesn't seem to be any dust on this floor at all. Okay, well, we keep going left then. I head up here. Okay, as you move to there, see the edge of the hall. You can see a number of the big black marble columns supporting the um, roof. Okay, go to the going left. I'm going to go into it. Still, okay. still peering about, scooting X5 about. 5D. Oh god. 5D so, 10, 5D 10 damage. Uh, as you step through this arched hallway, it you know, rises to about a height of it, about 20 feet. Uh -huh. um, the walls of this seem to almost just be completely glazed in amber. You can see like your reflection in the amber itself. But the images don't seem to match your movements. And as you look... They begin waving their arms and scream silent warnings to you. Hmm. Each of you experiences that as you pass through this hallway. These just mere reflections of yourselves just trying to warn you about something. 
Well, oh, I always did trust myself, but I don't know if this counts. See the statues we're walking. Sorry, Amida. They must be getting some joy out of taunting us like this. If they know it, that we already know this is deadly, why keep doing that over and over again? Who knows? These are clearly beings with an ego. They are beyond just intelligent beings. They're definitely <laughs> got a massive, massive ego. Well, you're the wizard. So maybe we should try to attack that ego. Never know. You mean the wall? So what? Just keep walking. Okay. okay. I keep scooting on. Hmm. Okay, uh, just give me a second, sorry. Uh, the hallway only goes about 20, 25 feet before it seems to emerge into a large corridor. Okay. Or chamber, you can't quite tell. Come to the edge and put my head around. I actually, I can only see 10 feet, it doesn't really matter. Oh, well, well, you can see 20 feet. Oh, I can see further. Oh no, well, it's like... It's you. You can see twenty feet, but like I, it was set to tw ten feet on your aura thing because that's how much twenty feet would actually be on this map. If that get, uh, makes sense. Okay. Uh, like if you look at your aura, it is about four squares. You can see. So this is more accurate only for this map. Got it. Oh no no no! The aura is still the same. Okay. Like what I mean is right. like your aura is set to ten feet, but that's not representative of this. Like see on the map from your person, you can see about four squares, so you can see about twenty feet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you get me? Yeah, I see you, man. I see you, man. Yeah. Sorry. Oppressive darkness, isn't it great? Um, how long has it been, roughly? Do you guys see it's been a bit close to thirty minutes since you came into the temple? Probably. Uh, I mean, it depends how long the conversation took. Probably. Mm. I would. Probably not that long. I would. I would think. say like twenty minutes. I'd say. So I thought. Okay. Like we had a conversation. We walked down some stairs. Yeah. No, that's mm. true. I suppose. That's how slowly you're walking, I guess. Anyway. I'm moving at normal pace, because I can move stealthy at a normal pace. Yeah. Fair enough. I don't know what happens to me, though, if I'm holding <laughs> on to you when you do all these things. Maybe you should be holding on to Grigori. I can, I can hide in my cloak, but... Yeah. Uh... I'm Grigori still I'm back in the main chamber. I can't tell where Grigori is. Is he, like, at waist height for me? How about Lewin, then? I'm four feet, I'm, I'm five feet tall, thank you very much. Well, I'm four foot six, so that's close enough to five foot. I'm not actually so, 4 foot 6, I'm 4 foot 2. Jeez. No, you say, oh, you don't understand. I, I have no idea where anything is. So you need to hand me over to... Okay, okay. okay. I won't. As you... Go back okay. to Luan and hand her over. Okay, hold on to Luan. Thank okay. You. Okay, thank you. And I <sighs> vanish okay. into the darkness again from your point of view. God. Step a bit further, yeah. <laughs> I still can't even see Luan. <laughs> Step a little bit further. Yeah. Uh, As you get to about there, the you can see the other side of the corridor, it seems. Um, glistening amber coats the walls and ceiling of this enormous hall, almost like sculpted honey. And the black marble floor ahead of you um, just gives off these, like... It almost looks like walking on a void. It's just like so like clean and like just the purest of like blackest marble. Um, the vaulted ceiling is about 25 feet high and set into the walls uh, to your like left as you'd be walking in here. Uh, you see these at a height of about five feet are these like amber ledges lined with life-sized alabaster statues of cats, frogs, hawks, owls, rats, ravens, snakes, toads, weasels. Many of the statues as you're walking along have seemed to have like fallen from their perches and lie shattered on the floor. Um, from where you're standing right now, you can see there is a door to your like right. Um, but the corridors seem to extend both directions currently. Yeah. Didn't hear them opening any doors. Mm. 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 But should you try to find them or should we? Oh, what 
at least want it to do. It's either not good for us or could by end up getting him killed. Well, neither is a good like neither is a fucking good sign. We need his help getting down the mountain again. True. I would like to find him before he gets himself killed. And he's a, uh, okay. and, and he's a friend. And a mm -hmm. confidant. Continue down the corridor. Oops, sorry. Uh oh. Continue on. Uh, you continue to see more of these little alcoves of these little statues, some broken, some not. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to move yourself up, Lan? Yeah. As you get to about there, uh, you, see, you see the corridor seems to end in this direction at a door. And there seems to be a set of stairs running up. Oh. A closed door, I'll say. Well, he didn't open any doors, so he must have gone the other way. Hmm. Somewhere else. Right, back up we go then. Right. Pass another door on the left. Bringing that total to two now. I hear him open any doors, so I'm just continuing on until I find. Yep. The noise isn't muffled in here, is it? Like I'm, like our footsteps aren't muffled. Oh, you hear your footsteps very clearly, audibly echoing. Can I stealth to reduce that? Sure, you absolutely can. Yes, please. Thank you for the uh, pointless labels. Eighteen. It's hard to see them sometimes. Is it I? The wee bit of white isn't enough now. Nope. Okay. The gigantic door. <laughs> As you come to the end of the corridor, you see an open door. Oh, okay. We might have gone through here. Alright, go on. Through. Testing. Let me just... See. I can tell those are stairs. Who is this? Seriously. It's not about being able to tell, it's about sending a message. <laughs> Who is this completely, like, don't know. Is your real life intelligence that low? <laughs> no. Nathan, stop. I know it's Nathan. Stop. <laughs> Why you do this? Amber actually a reflective oh, surface. Oh, fuck. Yes. Oh no, what's up, Brace? Um... Hold on. Sorry, Isil, does your, um... Does your, does your primal awareness also detect aberrations? No, no, it doesn't. Okay, that's fine uh... then. It does, ah, it does, it does, it does, it does, whoops, it does, I just, ah. aberration oh slash those dragons. Sorry, to add to that list, you also detected some nothics. Oh, oh God. fuck this. Is that the thing God. we thought last time? No. Oh, what, like, I don't know what a nothic, nothic is. Oh. Uh, let me roll, can I roll like a survival for that race? Sure. 21. Hey. You would know that Nuffix are essentially a Nuffix is a well actually Nuffic. wait what? I don't know if this is um uh is this what it is in actual D D or is this what it is in Ah, okay. Mm. So, you would know that Nofix generally are 
creatures that have drifted into the material plane from the far realm, or more commonly, have been created from former wizards. Wizards who have essentially lost their minds and been cursed with this like horrible aberration where they become these hunched four-legged creatures with like a single giant baleful eye in the center of their head um they're not extract they're not exactly you know hostile at the first sign of um sign of someone um generally they like to learn the secrets of someone or like learn the like deepest desires of someone usually only hostile when provoked mm. Mm. nothing's ahead i don't think he went this way but i can't be sure yeah what I mean, unless... Do you even know what a Nothic is? No idea. Something fucked up, that. Sounds odd. Uh, cursed wizards, pretty much. Magic. Not necessarily hostile, but maybe. Mm. Can you spell the name of this thing? N-O-T-H-I-C. Uh, like a Nothic. I'm not like an elf. <laughs> I'm not like an elf. And as you're like, with pretty high stealth, you see like, at this door there's slightly ajar. You definitely like make out a hunched like creature with a giant eye, like pass in front of the door at a point. Hmm. I like we silent. And I back away from the door. Okay. Okay. What do we want to do? If we go in, we might have to uh, deal with them. Right. If you think it's okay, we should go. I don't think it's okay. Uh, but I don't also know if Casimir went this way or not. It's so sad. I they don't look, they look, they're not acting like anything strange happened, but, uh, oh, fuck, I don't know what the Nautic really acts like. Doesn't seem like there was any sign of a struggle, so it might not have come this way. Okay, well, we can go back and check. Mm. I still can't see shit, right? Oh, you're still blind, yeah. 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 Because nobody has lit a torch, apparently, so. Nope. You're not asked? No, it's fine, I'm happy enough. Probably so are you? Ask, I'll literally light you a torch right now. Can you light me a torch? But then that's not stealthy then. That's not good. You're absolutely I'm, right, I'm, it's not. I'm the stealthy one. I don't have to be in light of the torch. But... This is true. Okay. Right. So you light the torch, go for it. I'm going to slink back into the main room. Mm. Get a torch on a pack. Yeah. Uh, you do so, Loon. Mm-hmm. Um... Then you probably immediately notice that the like light of the torch doesn't extend the vision you already had with dark vision. Mm-hmm. You can see the exact same distance, except now you can actually see you know color better. Uh, same goes for anybody else in the torchlight. Slightly better, not really though. Yeah, uh, you see, if you're staying out of the torchlight, you would probably oh, yeah. specifically notice. Once you're kind of like out of the threshold of it, it just seems incredibly dimmed. Like you're looking at it through really thick glass or something. Hmm. It's not too bad going towards stealth. It's still visible, but uh, I can barely see it when I'm not in it. So we should be okay. Mm, Take it, Lan can see now, but. Well, yeah, now Lan can see, yeah. Alright. Well, if it's not done this way, I'm going to go back into the main room and see if there's any other exits of it. Okay. Give me a second. Ah, 
Ach, sorry, es passiert nicht. You step into the main room. Um, as you get to like sort of that position, you can sort of make out a bit of a bit of rubble like to your left when you step in. Closer yeah. As you get to about there, uh, you see like another um, of those like white marble statues in an alcove, and ahead of you, yeah, a big pile of rubble. That as you come up to it and like look up a little bit, you see that there seems to be like about half of a balcony left above you, and the other half has like collapsed and fallen down to this point. Okay. Interesting. I'll like, skirt around it a little bit. Okay. But there, you can see what looks like just about the entrance to a room. You're not quite sure. But there's like a bit of a void in the wall. Around I go then. Alrighty. Let me just uh, check. Where is that? X39. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. 39. Okay. As you get up to that point, uh, you can see in a little bit. Um, the amber doors that once sealed this great stone room have been smashed and like flung to the ground. Their pieces line amidst crushed bones, armor, and weapons. Oh, no. Yeah, you do so. Get a bit further. Um, yes. So, you basically see um, some like busted up furniture, some smashed up crates, and a few very, very old uh, corpses. Um, like the clothing of which seems to have like almost completely like rotted away. They're just busy skeleton remains. Um, all of them seem to have just been like just pulverized um like one is lying on the floor and there's like almost a small crater underneath him where like his entire rib cage and pelvis have just been smashed into the ground Oof. another one you see must have been like thrown against one of the walls there's like cracks in the wall above where its body landed and the like the whole spine is just like broken in multiple places <laughs> another one seems to have just been crushed by the actual uh, door I'll go a bit further into the room. Okay. Anything, anything interesting along the walls or on the floor as I make my way in? Not in particular. Um, as you like come in here, there's a lot of smashed up furniture and things, but and the, the skeletons, but aside from that, there's not really very much in here. Um, unless... What's this alcove at the back? There... Does that... Uh, let me just, sorry, let me just check something. It's a big fucking dungeon. Mm -hmm. It is. <laughs> ah, I see. Um, the only thing probably of note is in the left hand corner of the room there seems to be like a like a trap door essentially but it's like 30 feet up huh? and no discernible way to reach it There's a trap door above me. Um, oh. If we go up the stairs, we could probably get above it again. 
Okay, let's keep an eye out. Let's not we don't fall into it. No, no, it's, it's above me. Yeah, no, when we go upstairs, try and find it. We the best we keep make sure we know where we're going, so we don't fall in. To drop. Okay. Hmm. There's nothing like below the trap door. No. <coughs> Strange. Excuse whatever. Me. Okay. Back out of the room then. Continue hugging the wall. Alrighty. Uh, when you get to that point, mm -hmm. you see looming out of the darkness is a massive statue. Uh, let me actually describe it now. Yeah, you see, well I suppose you can't really make it how tall, but I'll describe it anyway. Uh, a 40 foot tall statue of a cowled figure in flowing robes. Statue's hands outstretched in the mist as if casting a spell. A cowled figure? Cowled. Like, hood up. Cowled. Interesting. All right. Uh, can I do a little oh, bit of stone? A little figure, then. Hmm? Can I do a little bit of stone cunning on these statues, Reese? Just to make sure that sure. they're sure. made of normal stone and not, for example, living statues that are going to come crashing down upon us sure make a check wonderful so that is just going to be history mm -hmm. that one oh good thing just looks like a statue it's cool oh wait do you have advantage on it because of stone cutting oh y yes Oh no, I'm okay, considered... so 17. Uh, no, I'm considered proficient in the history skill and add double your proficiency bonus to the check. So, it's still in that one. Oh well. It just looks like a, it just looks like a stone statue, you can't really tell. Mm, yes, yes, we want. Can I see it or <laughs> is it not visible within the range of the fire? Uh, the edges of it is probably visible of you right now. Does it look magical? Make me an arcane, arcane check. I thought I was also one. <laughs> <laughs> no, doesn't seem to be, you don't think. Unless it's like, well-hidden magic or something. But if I can't tell with a 25, I can't tell. Pretty much. Like, nothing about it would make you think it's magical. Gregory. Mm. Yeah, don't fucking trust, don't trust statues after that dragon statue we fought. That dragon statue we fought. We didn't really fight that. They mostly just blow you and me off a mountain. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's fighting to me. <laughs> fighting, fighting, normally, fighting normally ends with me getting fucking blown up, so... As, so, as someone who doesn't normally get affected by things like that, um, I think it was fine. Maybe you shouldn't yeah. have gone near it at all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's alright. Alright. Okay. Also, so sneaking along. Okay. Give me just a second. Uh, reveal. Uh, when you get to about this point, you see, you see, um, like a mirroring uh, balcony directly above you. Um, this one intact, uh, depicted by the little dash lines. Mm -hmm. Um, and to your left, you see a door. Uh, looks like it would have been very similar to the door, um, the smashed in door room. Um, like also mirroring almost, like very ornate amber and laid doors. Uh, currently closed. All right, keep going. Okay, get to there. Uh, you see this alcove opposite the far one. The white marble statue seems to have toppled down and smashed into the ground. Hmm. Okay. 
just doing a circle of the room, basically. Yeah, yeah. Of course. You see another black marble column holding up ceiling. Is um, that another amber hallway, or is it different? It's another hallway. Uh, Wait, are there any inscriptions on the statue or any marks on it? Not that you can see, but you are at the back of the statue. The statue's facing the front of the temple, so... Nothing at the back. You'd be inside the statue. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. Also, could, are you holding the torch lamp? Yeah. Okay, could you also, if you click on your token, click on the little uh, cogwheel and go to, I think it's, a, it's like Aura. Yeah. Put aura to ten feet as well. If you're gonna be going in a different direction of the seal. Oh no, I'm not going different direction, I'm just going there and then I'll join the seal. Yeah, but like you're 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 far you're far enough distance that you can see different things. Oh okay. Um so I just move yourself a bit because you're inside the shot right now. <laughs> uh maybe a little bit forward. Oh, well, my yeah, that'll do. Uh, from there, seeing the front of the statue, uh, can we see you sail from here? Or no, you cannot. You the cannot see you sail at all. Okay. Um, oh, well, outside the aura. Okay. So yeah, you see this forty-foot-tall statue. It's the hands outstretched as if casting a spell, and you also see that like. Beneath the hood is just a completely black void of darkness. You don't see any like face or anything, just a void. Can I tell what kind of magic it might be? Oh, like what am I be casting with that hand gesture? Ah, uh, you would not be able to tell that. No. No. It's a very generic like hand movement, hand pose kind of thing. So. Okay. Uh, what is that corridor? Five D. Did I describe the wrong fucking... Ah. No, it's okay. Uh, you see, as you get up to that corridor, it pretty much mirrors the other one. And as you begin passing along it, you begin also getting those uh, reflections of yourself, like giving silent warnings. Okay. I will not go down it yet. I'll continue on the run. Alrighty. Get to there. You can just about make out another alcove that probably houses another marble statue. Uh, I should be. I'm expecting a staircase in front of the last plot. Oh, yep. A matching staircase. And anything down here. Ta da! We're on the same room again. Uh, you guys cannot see you sail. Okay. Um, and if each of you gets more than 20, 30 feet away from each other, you cannot see each other. Okay, so uh, I'm I'd just like going to I'd like to stay about 20 feet away from you sail then, please. Will everyone get in my aura, please? What do I need to be in your aura for? Uh, come up to a pair of doors you seal, currently ah. closed. Um, it does have a specific description, hold on. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> all mentioned this for men there the whole time. No. It's just to show how much you can see. Because you were going a slightly different way than you seal was, though, like, just for revealing yeah, purposes. No, okay, keep it on for now, it's fine, it doesn't matter. Um... Uh, these these pair of double doors very similar to the other large locked pair um, or well closed pair uh, like amber inlay very quite ornate looking doors. Oh. Again, I didn't see them open any doors. Okay, I check the corridor. Then they go in. Like going good to the right corridor, by the way. Okay. <laughs> You're making me flick back and forth through this goddamn book. Uh -huh. <laughs> if I was just clearing the dungeon one bit at a time, it'd be a lot easier for you, but... It would if you were doing it in numerical order as well, but no. Okay, 
Okay, here we go. Whoop. Okay. Uh, yeah, again, the the walls are the same, same uh, mirrored, uh -huh. screaming yourself. Uh, but, but you find yourself in a vaguely similar corridor, although the difference being in this one, there seems to have been some sort of cave-in. Uh, seems that, like a lot of the structure has collapsed at this point. Um, let me see as well. Yep, wall ceilings is great hot coated with amber, glistens like fresh honey. A long black marble floor. To the north, the hall has collapsed, leaving a wall of rubble. And as you come up to this point, you see there's another small amber door ahead of you. Um, yeah. Okay. It's closed, I imagine? Yep. So far, the only door you've seen open is the one Nofix. on the far, far left, the one with the Nofix, and uh -huh. the smashed in one. Yep, okay. So if I go then. If, if on the map, the door is closed, the door is closed. Fair enough. I hope you can really see it very well. Uh, as you head further down, you pass by another door. Okay. I just keep, I just keep going until I hit the end of the corridor, basically. Yep, sure. Unless something pops up in my way. Nothing does. Uh, this the corridor doesn't have the same little alcoves of alabaster statues. Uh, it's completely just bare, aside from like the glistening amber. Um, and you pass two more doors, one at the very bottom and one at the right-hand side there. Um, four doors in total in this corridor. All closed. Okay. He must have gone past the Nothics then. None of the rest of these doors are open, or we've not heard him open them. Yeah. It's, uh... It's it's something. Um, I don't know if we can. Can't they can't be rationalised with can they? I think so. They can be. Yes. It's whether we want to. If well, you want to, we can stay far away and open doors. Ah, oh, god know. damn it! The doors from up close. Hold on, my mum is calling me. Doors. Hold on. Ah. So we're chasing them, or do we start searching the place? Is the question. We're here to find something, right? So we should try to search. That's what I think. Okay, well, that's... Not um... go after the enemies, necessarily. If we get what we want, we don't even need to fight them. We can just leave. You know? It's true. Yeah, it's true. Like that one. Especially after our near brushes with death. We should probably consider that. Out of character question, Nathan. Yes. What is the green Doritos flavor? Uh, loaded pepperoni pizza. Ooh, that's a new one. I know. I wonder if I can guess. It. Hmm. Are you still a cool original guy or a cheesy? Cheese I kind of like guy? the pepperoni. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's pretty fucking sweet. Hmm. Well, fuck it, we'll begin searching rooms then. Why not? Screw Casimir. Hmm. Screw Casimir. Okay, you never know what we want
Hmm. Mm -hmm. Just thinking. Mm -hmm. I don't want to reveal what I'm thinking yet. Because mm -hmm. he's hearing us. <laughs> he can fucking hear us, son of a bitch. He's in the wall. He's in the fucking wall. I just increased the volume on Guardsman Hotline, and you spoke at exactly the same time, Nathan. <laughs> and I thought, I was like, why is the song got Nathan's voice just, singing? Well, Nathan's just, the song's just got me fucking doing my fucking tricks and hmm in the background. Just looking, Excuse me. Hmm. I'm gonna bring cheesecake, I'll be back. Radio. Nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check the work group chat. Fucking. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just gonna send a picture of the Oh god, what is it gonna be? Uh, Hunting Dracula. Oh boy. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty fucking good. <laughs> That's my manager saying that to the group chat. Oh, shit. Like, ah, <laughs> uh, That's pretty good. Ah, uh, fuck. Frozen solid. <laughs> nice.
Sorry about that, gents. Welcome back. My mother apologizes. It's alright. Uh, I see Nathan is gone. Nathan has gone. Gonna check on his linens. As expected. While he's gone, could these of you make me a wisdom saving throw? Ah! <laughs> Nice. Perfect. I'm going to get a drink for this happens. Loon. Reese. Or should I wait for Nathan to see if he rolls lower than eight? What do you think? See, the thing is, he's a druid, he probably won't. Uh, but uh, actually, yeah. Yeah, what's his bonus? Like probably like a plus six, plus seven. So um, yeah, something like that. It's it's very unlikely that he rolls probably lower won't. than me. Did... This is actually perfect. Being at uh, going by the current map arrangement, being at the back of the party, no one will even notice. No one will notice if there's no one to notice. Loon, as you're like moving along at the back of everybody else, you suddenly just feel a presence in the back of your mind. You hear a voice in your head that just says, Come! And instinctively, you turn around, begin walking to the other side of the main chamber hall. Okay. Understood. And you just get, you're drawn, you're pulled to the far side. I'll bring myself for there for now. No, keep going. Oh, well, I was going to wait for Nathan to get back before we did more. Okay. Keep sliding, bud. Keep sliding. Let's keep going. Yet. He's you back. can speed up a bit. I've heard that before. You walk past the mirrors once more, Lewin. You see yourself screaming at you, begging you not to keep going. But he doesn't know. He doesn't understand. You get it. You keep walking. I get it. Which way do I want to go, left or right? You immediately turn to your left. You walk down to the bottom of the corridor. Okay. You open the door. Oh, right there it is. Sorry, can you see what's happening? All right, open the door. And you step in to the room. Okay. In front of you, you see three large, 15 foot tall, amber sarcophagi. Mm -hmm. Um, let's actually have a specific, hold on. Nathan, just in case you're wondering, I'm not doing any of this willingly. Uh, what? Uh, right about, right about now, Grigori, you might notice, you like, turn around, you go to say something to Loon, you can't see him. Loon? Oh, fuck. You don't hear anything. Uh, yeah, you see these like, sorry, like 10 foot tall, 5 feet wide, 5 feet thick, amber sarcophagi. Um, inside each of them, you see, like, moving within it, like, a single, like, a sliver or, like, wisp of, like, dark, almost like ink, just moving throughout. One of them in particular, the one on your left, you immediately walk towards and place your hand on. As you do, 
Let me just uh, find it because there's quite a few to scroll um, through. Sh Sean, uh, I want to take your character sheet. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Reese, I failed to believe one we... save. Bye bye. <laughs> Fuck up. Welcome uh, to the Amber Temple, Sean. <laughs> the Amber Temple. Welcome to the Amber <laughs> Temple. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Okay, Sean, Lewin, you're mentally transported to a desolate wasteland. Mountainous canyons, ridges and chasms that bubble with streams and geysers of lava. A great river of lava cuts through the earth nearby, its surface churning with melting black stone and spouts of hot magma. The river flows into a large lake of lava, framed by a semicircle of five great mountains that tower above the rest. Rising from the lake of lava is the great Tar Hak, the five-headed destroyer, an immense five-headed hydra of dark platinum scales, each maw wide enough to devour an entire village. Each head coils and turns, and all look at you, and all slowly descend towards you. Lewin! One speaks. You found us! Another says. Good! Says another. Another slips forwards before the others. I want to offer you a gift, Lewin. Power, strength can be yours. Strength to defeat Strad. Strength to save your love. Strength to help your friends. Am I able to speak or am I still physically? You can speak. I've come this far off of my own back and of the backs of those who bore me. I get patriots. Their strength will get me the rest of them. The strength I offer you is far, far greater. I'm debating whether or not to tell you what you'd actually me mechanically benefit from this. Oh, show, him, show, him, show him a vision of what he could become. Yeah, I, yeah I, I, honestly, I don't think that would get it across. Okay, uh, let's let's go by comparison. Uh, fucking four horsemen when Bell on went full on demon. Are we talking like that level of fucking ridiculous strength? I mean, the fact that you're even considering it is fucking insane. Holy shit! I, I think this is one of the time one of those times where it's kind of good to go about video gamey here, uh -huh. and basically tell you mechanically what this is offering right this the great tar hack is offering you the gift of the ability to increase your strength score to 26 as an action three times a day for an hour each time see what i mean that's why i'm like i, <laughs> <laughs> I mean that'll do it that it's well pretty did. fucking strong. Oh, <laughs> uh, the role player in me is like, this is a bad deal. The power gamer in me is like, oh, oh, baby. I just see the, the Doom Slayer rise over the mountain in the distance. <laughs> Cock <Cock's laughs> shotgun. <laughs> so, yeah. <coughs> um. Step into the lake, Lewin, and this gift is yours. <coughs> what do I need to give in return? <coughs> this 
gift is not free. I know that. <coughs> you need offer me nothing, Lewin. This is a gift. I give freely. Can I roll insight on Tahawk, the Flash Panda Destroyer? Sure. <laughs> sure. Roll insight on the uh, city sized Platinum <laughs> Hydra. <laughs> um, that's. Do you have inspiration? Do you want to roll that again? No, I don't. No, how an inspiration? It's like a like fucking six Uh, You believe him. Fuck. <laughs> and something about his words. He says, I offer you this gift freely. Mm -hmm. Something pings in your mind, and you remember the voice from the start saying, not to take any treasures except those given freely. It used the same words. From what you can tell, there doesn't seem to be any catch. Hmm. Okay. Am I allowed to get meta for a second and ask the opinions of the boys? I'll allow it. Thank Walk you. into that fucking lake. <laughs> shite, shite bag if you don't. <laughs> I mean, we're going to we're going to lose our soul if you do it. Then everyone's doing it, and we're going to burn <laughs> our fucking Sean. You we're think he's to... telling the truth? What do you do? You know, the way this works is that we all get the special powers and then we rip and tear. And we just fucking and ruin fucking into each other. We fucking, we go in and just wombo combo him. <laughs> with as many magical powers as physically possible. Come on. Sean, what would Lewin do? You'll be able to carry your horse out of any danger. <laughs> Think about it like that. Okay. Is there like a decision uh, roll that you can do? No, it's just decision magic. I have. I have gotten the spot <laughs> by beaten, beaten and bloody through every struggle. And being brought back every single time. For my own strength or the strength of others. I appreciate this gift, Tarak. Greatly I do. But I will kill Strad at my own. The heads kind of rear up a little bit. You dare reject my gift. I do. You dare! As like it slams two of its claws down, and there's just a torrent of lava that erupts out and launches itself just over you, engulfing you. In an instant, you snap back mm -hmm. to where you were standing in front of the sarcophagi. You feel as if all your skin has just been boiled. Mm. Roll me a conscious and saving throw. See how much psychic damage I take. Fun save. Ooh. Okay. You like stagger back, gasping. Like you want to like rip your armor off. You feel like your skin is like melting almost. But like after a couple of seconds, it slowly passes. It subsides, and you're like oh, you're taking deep breaths. And after a moment, you seem fine. Just look up and down, because you'll still be trapped in here while I'm killing the devil. That's the easy bastard. And then start making my way back to the fence. Sure. While that was happening, Grigori, could you have maybe wasn't saving for You weren't here for earlier. Got it, baby. <laughs> no problem See, at so all. Just, same happens to him, we just high five on the way out of the room. <laughs> Damn. Can, uh, do, I have an, do I have inspiration? You don't need it. I want to. I want to reveal so I fail. <laughs> if you want to fail, 
I'll allow you I to. Wanna, I, wa- I want. To, I, I think it would be fun to have to narratively have this, but I don't want to. Hmm. I mean, I feel like that's the thing. If you like, if I ask you to roll something to prevent a thing from happening, if you decide I don't want to prevent that thing from happening, you don't roll. Like, imagine this is like you know you feel like something kind of trying to pull at you. Do you let it? Or do you resist? That's what the rule is. No, I'm going to resist. I'm going to resist. Are you sure? Yes. Show that. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> and they said no balls. Fuck yourself. You didn't take the fucking <laughs> deal, buddy. Yeah, so you're right. I didn't. You could. I mean, apparently, neither are you. Yeah. Um, we'll see about that. So. What do the rest of you do? Maybe at this point, Grigori's said to the other two, uh, Hey guys, Loon's missing. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, what? It's not fucking good. I don't know where he's gone. Oh. <sighs> Maybe he's fucking done a run on like the, like the fucking Grey Elf. I had to kill Loon too, for fuck's sakes. Okay. Yeah. Did you hear him open any doors? I didn't hear anything open. Yeah, I didn't hear no fucking doors. Uh, Gregory, can you tell us where he might be? Oh, I'm a fucking Lewin, I'm a sniffer now. Uh, you always did seem very close. Yeah, he's a nice you want to be a casual sniffer? He's a nice By the time you guys guy. sort of realised he was missing and began chatting <laughs> and then began backtracking a bit, uh, Lewin, you'd be halfway across this main chamber. The rest of you see Lewin just emerge out of the darkness ahead of you. Not in scary dungeon, and I'm going to survive tonight. What, 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 what does? They'll be fucking. They'll be running off like that, man. I uh, didn't have a choice. We're good. I really feel you know like what, we are. What happened? Yeah, we'll hype him up. Uh, I got controlled by a Tarhak that's five headed destroyer. You fucking what? Anything fun? I I find them. Oh, uh, there is a small room uh, with uh, three crystals in it. One of them has Tarhak uh, stuck in it. Um, I don't know what's in the other two. I got other. What is, what is the Tarhak? Remember back at the cave, uh, the, oh, the yeah. thing that uh, talked to me in my sleep uh, offered me power. Um, yeah. Okay, picture this: big, big Hydra. We're talking the size of a, a mountain. Um, I mean, made out. Of... Inside down here. Sure. Because. He seems really talking like this means nothing, like this is like some kind of joke, and I want to check. Sure. Okay. I hope it's inside. Is it inside? Yeah, it's inside. Um, I mean, he believes everything he's saying. Uh, perhaps he is saying it in a slightly, you know, uh, nonchalant way, but. It's truthful, as far as you can tell. He doesn't seem to be making it up or anything. I I, I will say this: you can tell that Lewin. It, it, he it seems like he feels like he's made a mistake, and he's trying you, to play it off. You had regret in his voice and eyes. What did you fucking do, mate? Only Lan hints that regret. I'd say with that. Oh, uh, so, so he offered me power. I I told him I didn't want it. <laughs> yeah. Gi- uh, giant, uh, giant uh, lava, uh, uh, metal lava, hydra offers you power. Um, even if he says it's for free, he probably wants to eat your soul. That's Presumably. A bit, that's a bit weird. So, uh, he, didn't offer, he, didn't, he didn't ask for anything, so. Yeah. According to Gregory, he's not the only one, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been feeling yeah. a little tickle in the back of the head. I hope so. Uh,. It, uh... I was probably prepared to slap Lewin, but it's fine. Uh, thank you for not slapping me. Um, sorry for walking off. I, I, I genuinely didn't have a choice, but I'm uh, back. We're good. Sure, okay. What the... Yeah. Well, fine. Good job, buddy. If you hear the call of Tarhawk, the five-headed destroyer, I guess, you know, let us know next time before you decide yeah. to fuck off. <clears throat> I think we should all stay a lot closer together. Good idea. So now that we know there's nothing on this, well, I, yes, it seems fine. 
Should we get exploring the room, then? See if we can find the staircase down? Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Start the staircase as well. Fair enough. Okay, let's just uh, start it uh, back. I was like, begin backtracking into this. Okay. Corridor down to here. Start the okay. this way, then. We got it around. You come down here. Mm -hmm. uh, do you open the door? Yes, I click the door open, put my head in. Okay. You poke your head in. Um, pop, pop, pop. No reveal. Reveal. You find yourself in a small, strangely shaped room with three large alcoves. Standing in each is a large amber sarcophagi. About 10 foot tall, 5 foot wide, 5 foot thick, and in the center of each, just floating and worming its way around, is a small wisp of like an inky black essence. Well, that's not fun. <laughs> Can I see this? As you, yeah. As you poke your head into the room, you see it. Uh, actually, say not yet, Loon, sorry. Um, I imagine you're like, door open a little bit, kind of just, just about head poked in, yeah? As you do that, you see there's a faint green glow behind each of these uh, statues or sarcophagi. Like a moving, flickering, almost like firelight, but green. Do I know what that is? Um, I'd say you can't see this right now. Only Lou, uh, only Yasiel, because she's got her head like in the door. Um, mm. Does Prime Evil Awareness tell you directions of the things again? No. Or uh, just uh, just in the area? Okay, mm. that's fine. The... It's the uh, sarcophagus room. No one talked about that now. There's one in the set as well. There's uh, like a wisp in it. Don't know if you want to go in there. No, I don't. That, that's, that... Sounds like it's, a, it's exactly the same room as uh, I encountered to, to Hawk. It might just be another. Th is this must be how they like keep the prisoners locked up? Mm, that that makes sense. Okay. Mm. Well, we'll leave it alone then, I guess. Mm. That would be. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I was able to well, leave the room. Leave the room as 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 Elysia entered, but you know, it's just the fact that those things are in there. I, we, Best not to go poking unless we have an opportunity. Have to do so. Fair enough. Okay. Close the door. Okay. Next, uh, next room then. Okay. Right, add up this one. Open this one. You find a pretty much identical room. Hmm. Three more sarcophagi. Three more little black wisps inside. This one doesn't seem to have the green fire behind it. It does not. Hmm. Oh, fuck it. Is there any like mm -hmm. name plaques or anything in any of these? Yeah. Pop my I'll take a, a step in to get a closer look. Okay, you take a step in. Uh, let me, sorry, yes, you are waiting for something. Uh, sorry, there's a lot of these to scroll through. Um, shit, I missed it, where is it? Give me a moment. Um, you see, mm -hmm. as you like step into this room, the sarcophagi directly ahead of you, it almost feels like it's reaching out to you. You 
feel not quite compelled, but very intrigued by it. Very interesting. And we like creep towards it. Yeah. Walk up to it. What's it look like? It looks the same as the other two, but the little wisp that's inside of this one. The other two, like the wisp is kinda of just like floating like all around within. But this one, the wisp is like pretty central and like it's just a wisp of like a blackish inky energy, but it feels like it's looking at you. And it like almost seems like it's pressed like right up against the edge of the amber. Hmm. Would you like to touch it? Sure. Oh boy. Reach out a hand. Touch it. You're immediately like mentally just transported to an impenetrable void of dark blackness the floor is wet as though covered by like a thin layer of liquid water in the distance you see a standing silver mirror taller than you by far perhaps 30 40 feet tall as you approach you see your reflection but the reflection of yourself The closer you get, the more your reflection sort of fades and is replaced by this, like, hovering uh, golden mask. Looks like a smiling, like, human face. Just floating in the air exactly where your head would be. And the closer you get, the more clear it becomes. Until you're, like, right up against it and it's, like, crystal clear. You can only see this golden mask. The rest of the mirror is just filled with, like, in like inky blackness. Then you hear a voice. Yesel, my greetings to you. Hello. I am Vons the Evasive. Hello. You intrigue me. Thank you. A gift I would like to offer. Would you take it? What is your gift? The greatest gift. The power of evasion. To become undetectable. To be impossible to pin down. This is a gift, yes? Mechanically. Uh huh. You would receive the ability to uh, cast a spell, non-detection, up to three times a day, uh, or up to three times a day as well, um, automatically receive, succeed on any field dex mm. mm. I don't know what that spell does. But... I actually don't know either. <laughs> What does that spell do? <laughs> no idea. Yo, if someone's like trying to scry on you, they can't. Oh, was that it? How long That's that pretty last? good. I wonder. Uh, eight hours. And you can do this three times per day, so you could make yourself undetectable forever. <laughs> Is this a gift? Yes. A gift only to one worthy. A gift I offer freely. No price, no strings. It is yours. All you must do is step through the mirror. No strings? No strings. Sure, you're about to be worshipped or anything? Or it seems like uh, I don't know. I'm not used to getting getting stuff like this. Usually, you know, people sort of ask for worship for this sort of thing. I grow bored in my isolation. I simply wish to impart a bit of myself.
journey to see my power be you is wasted. Mm, I suppose that's true. Hmm. It would, but this this would make me completely undetectable, like even to Strat? To anyone. No one will ever know where you are, no matter how hard they try. But but you would. When you use it, yes. <clears throat> but I am giving you a part of myself. What, what, what are you? I am Vaughn. What, what, what is that? But, like, are you a god or are you a demon or? Never. Hmm. I am something more. Okay, I really don't know what that is. Oh. It's definitely free, right? It is free. Have a look, I give Taurus in the mouth, and I walk through. <gasps> Excellent. You step through the mirror, mm -hmm. and as you, like, step through, immediately you find yourself, like, taking a step in the room you were just in, like, back towards the door. As you, like, look down at yourself, pat yourself a little bit, you feel fine, you feel completely normal. Mm. But you do sense some sort of power within you. And you now inherently know how to cast a spell non-detection without any material components. Or semantics <laughs> or like gestures or anything. You can just do it. Hmm. Nice. Uh... Let me, I'll copy and paste the exact specifics. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Two, three times per day. Boop. Uh, where is Paul? Message. There you go. Perfect, thank you. Got it? Okay. Three times a day. What, what Every do... day. Forever. <laughs> what do we see? Yeah. You, you all watch... You see he'll touch this uh, amber sarcophagi, mm -hmm. and an instant later, she turns around and takes a step towards you all, and then does that kind of like pats herself down thing. Hmm. And yeah, is... see what the big, big issue was about the team side. What the fuck was that, Mike? Hmm? Oh, this is Bonds. He's a nice guy. He's a what now? I mean, mm -hmm. I don't even know if he's a guy, to be honest. It was a bit, was a bit fuzzy in that, but... I'm not going to lie, but that, that doesn't sound like a... It doesn't mm -hmm. sound like a fantastic time. Uh, it was, it was pretty, pretty nice, actually. I can't believe he can play. Or he's just accepting gifts from things now? Um, I just say... If somebody offers you a gift, it's an impolite to decline. Mark, I don't know if these are gifts. I just, I, I would just say these things have been locked up in this place for a reason. But fair enough. Yeah. Ah, uh, true. But uh, then again, we are locked in a different plane mm -hmm. of existence. Mm -hmm. but not for much reason, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't know what the wizard to see really did. So. Is that true? Is that true? I mean, yeah, but, uh... I don't know. <sighs> Hmm. So, yeah. I'm trying to kill the devil, the wind. Power is power. Anybody wanna? Anybody wanna touch the other two, Sir Coffee Guy? Sure. I'm gonna give it a little. If everyone's doing it, I'll do it too. Okay. 
do it if you want. Let's see. Which mm -hmm. sarcophagi do you go up and touch, Len? Oh, can you touch more than one in the same room? Yeah. I mean, can, I, can I touch one and use mage hand to touch the other? Uh, I mean, you can. The mage hand one won't do anything. Um, let's go uh, is it this one? Do you touch one on the on, do you touch the one on the left or the right? Uh, I don't even. How how would I even know the difference? I can't, right? They look identical. I'm just asking okay. which one do you touch? I mean, they're identical to you. Um, I'll just go to the one on the left. Okay, you go up to it. You place your hand on it. Sorry, is this here? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. You place your hand on it, and the second you do, you are mentally transported to an infinite flat plane of dead vegetation and dry cracked soil overhead there's a torrential black storm cloud swirling at, and there's immense lances of lightning striking the ground flashing across the sky followed shortly by the pounding eruptions of thunder but no rain falls it's completely like dry the air is just filled with like static electricity Amidst the clouds, at the eye of the storm, hovers a massive humanoid apparition formed of dark storm clouds that constantly crackle and hum with lightning. Its lower body is just a black tornado that ascends to the ground below, carving deep gouges into the landscape. Its hands are these long crackling bolts of lightning and its mouth is just a gaping dark maw. Then... I am Zrin Hala, the Howling Storm. You come seeking my gifts. This I grant freely. With the end of each sentence, there's just like a boom of like thunder. Do you accept? Mechanically, <laughs> you would gain the ability to cast a spell Lightning Bolt with no cost of components and no spell slots consumption uh, up to three times a day. Hey. Sorry, I really thought it would be more exciting. <laughs> what? Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry, That's... do you know how strong Lightning Bolt is? What the fuck? <laughs> It's not just about the strength, okay? It's also yeah. about the no. flavor. Yes, it is. Do you know how strong lightning bolt is? Like, no, I don't. Okay, you cast a lightning bolt in a one hundred foot long line that does eight d six lightning damage. It's, it's, it's a line version of fireball. It's, and you can do it three times per day for zero cost. No components, no spell slots used up. You can just do it three times a day. Okay, I'll take that. Sure. <laughs> Say no more! Deal! <laughs> Say no more, no, I'm I, in. I'm, I'm sorry, it's, it's, I'm still not super duper impressed, but it's fine. Okay, so... You accept, Len. Yes, <laughs> it, like, arches its arm back and shoots a lightning bolt directly at you. It arcs through the air, slams into your chest, and you like feel the pain for a split second before your eyes like kind of blink shut and you open them again, and you're standing in front of the sarcophagi. The pain, gone. But you feel like, almost like a constant like electricity, like a static just in your fingertips. Zappy zappy. Zappy zappy indeed. Are we gonna go test the other one now? I'm so high on the power, I want more. Yeah, you can. Unless Grigori wants something. Okay. So, okay. So, what did we all see when that happened to Len? Uh, she touched it. Her body, like, jerked slightly. 
and then she turned around again and she kind of like was doing like this for fingertips and you might have just about saw like a slight like sparkle of like you know like electricity like hopping between fingertips and then uh -huh. it faded Glory has magic from these things. Maybe I should get more. Um, do you do you touch the other one, uh, Len, or do you wait and see what Gregory does, or what do you do? Feels unfair not letting Gregory have a turn. So. I'll touch one. You yeah. touch the other one? Yes, I'll touch the third one. Perfect. That's exactly the one I wanted you to touch. <laughs> no, he's definitely not going to accept it. I don't know. Maybe. Gregory, you touch mm -hmm. this, uh, the fur truck off guy in this room. Mm -hmm. Immediately, you're mentally transported to a vast, stark stone chamber lined with twisted pillars and sculptures of snakes. At the opposite end of this chamber, upon a dais, rests a dark stone altar that bears a porcelain bowl decorated with simple swirling patterns. Inside the bowl is like a bubbling purple liquid. Behind the altar stands a tall woman with pallid purple-gray skin and a dress of deep violet. Her hair resembles a grey-green fungus that extends on either side of her head, and her eyes are covered with a purple fungus that mimics the shape of a masquerade mask. She, like, gestures her hands outwards. Gregory, my child. It is good to see you. Do I know you? Not as such, but you use power of a sort that I am a fan of. I am Fekri, Queen of Poxes. And I offer you a gift. To be my champion. I offer this freely. Do you accept? Mechanically. Uh -huh. You would <coughs> receive the ability to cast Contagion three times a day. No spell slots, no uh, no um, components. Let me just check what contagion is again. Uh, yeah. Hmm. That's a uh, that that is a whole. That do be a fifth level spell. <laughs> that do be a fifth level spell. You're right. With and the, it lasts with... seven days. <laughs> it lasts seven days. Sweet cinnamon toast. Fuck. I hope you don't mind, but I have a couple of questions. I may be able to answer. Specifically, it's not it's not about the it's not about the gift. The gift sounds great. Um, it's, it's more about it's more about yourself. And uh, and what the what the hell gist is here? Because um, you're you're all locked in here. You and your I don't know if you're friends or not. You're all locked in a big in a in a vault. Can I ask can I ask how that happened? Would you like me to do a charisma? No. Okay. Gregory, I think you understand better than most the cycle of life and 
death, growth, and decay, disease, pestilence, rot. These are a part of life, no? I mean, that is true. Without one, there is imbalance. Some do not see things this way. The ones who imprisoned me saw me as some evil entity. I am far from such. I mean, yeah, I literally agree with everything you just said. Um, I mean, yeah, all of that was true. Um, you know what we're going to be using these powers for, I hope you don't mind. It's... To kill the one they call Strad, yes? Yeah. You may do whatever you want, he means nothing to me. And the one he serves means even less. Okay, follow-up question. Uh, what do you mean by, uh, who do you mean by, uh, the, the one he serves? You serve somebody? Didn't, didn't realize he didn't realize. She kind of like anybody. leans down towards you. Where do you think Strat got his power from? There was another imprisoned here. Vampir, he was called. Vampir gave Strad a gift, and Strad wholly accepted. And yeah, and you're try and you're trying to you're trying to do the same thing with this. I'm trying to just give you a gift. I mean, yeah, but I'm sure that the vampire did the same thing. Uh, hmm. She kind of like stands up again. Do not compare me to that animal. He is nothing. He is nothing but a murderer, a bloodsucker. But as I am a part of life itself, I was here far longer before he ever came into existence, and I will be here forevermore, as long as there is decay and illness in the world, I will remain. And I grant you the gift, the power to spread disease to your enemies. All right. I hope I'm not testing your patience. I have one final question. This is our we're, the the land of um, the land that we're locked in at the moment. Barovia. That is, that Barovia. Is it locked like this because of Strahd, or is that a... It's locked like this because of Vampyr. Vampyr escaped his sarcophagi. He locked this land in the Dread Plain. He is in control. I see. I see. It's all because of the curse of Strad. <laughs> Title drop. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Well, thank you very much for all that information. Um, with everything you've told me. I think it would be very rude to not accept your invitation. So, uh, 
Thank you very much. I'll be taking this unholy power off of you. I knew I was right about you, Gregory. You understand. And then she like gestures towards the the mm -hmm. bowl of like the purple liquid. Mm -hmm. Drink. <coughs> I, t I, I I step forward and I smell it first of just. It smells sickly sweet. Mm. Not like bad. But rotting. <laughs> Not like, I mean, you definitely, you know what a rotting thing smells like? It doesn't quite smell like that. Like, mm. it smells... It smells a bit like sour milk. Uh... Like, it's kind of sweet, but there's like a little something that's just kind of off about it. Can I tell what it is, or is this some kind of magical elixir? Seems, uh, um, seems to be a magical elixir. There's nothing you know that looks like this. I will. <sighs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You drink it. You just feel like a warmth just engulf your body. You feel like it down your throat into your stomach and you feel it like just spread through your whole body like wildfire. And the second that feeling, like once you kind of like accept that and you feel it like go down your throat, mm -hmm. you find yourself back in the sarcophagi room. <coughs> oh, you're right there, good boy. <coughs> <coughs> Okay. Yeah, well, I'm good. I'm, I'm doing good, boys. I'm doing. Ah. Uh, it's not so unpleasant. I don't know what no one was making a hell of it. Um. Well, I've, I've, I've got a, I've got a little bit of information. Uh. Oh, very good. She was nice. Very nice woman. Very nice woman. Uh. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna talk to her later. Uh. Hope that uh, mm. hope that I stay in stay, <coughs> stay in Sorry. communication with her. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was good. It was yeah, yeah it was good. Yeah. <coughs> just you? just cough like <laughs> cough out a big Plymouth spores. Well, what happened? What did she say? Well, it turns out right, there was another guy here once. He turned up to ask for uh, for five us from the from the sarcophagus, mm -hmm. and um, he, he he met he, he he did a deal with one of the with one of the sarcophaguses, and mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the guy in the sarcophagus escaped, and uh, and uh, he kind of kind of cursed the man he did a deal with, and locked him locked him into a plane of existence in the dread planes. And uh, the man that did the deal was Strad von Zorovich. So, uh, so kind of, kind of, we're kind of getting up there with him, if you know what I mean. Kind of, kind of, kind of did a deal just like Strad did. So, so that that's good, right? <coughs> All <coughs> taking similar deals to what Strad has. Yeah, sounds sounds. Deal, was it? I Strad mean, took a deal, and he took a different bargain than we did. I mean. Gift and a deal is the same thing. No, it's not. If you look at it and look at it in different directions, um, what? I mean, I, th I think that I think they've kind of did. I think these creatures here doing a little deal with us, doing a little gift for us, because they're kind of a little bit jealous that they haven't managed to escape. And I can also see that uh, maybe, maybe this vampire that's still around is um, maybe if we find him, if I can put him back into a box. It, it might fix a lot of the problems around here. Might not even have to kill a strad, which is also good. Um, yeah, yeah, it was a fucking scary experience, boys. Well, you've got a couple of those this week, haven't you? Yeah, that was that wasn't the scariest, but it was fucking up there. You want to see what other gifts there are on offer? Um, um. I mean, yeah, yeah. We'll have a little, little we'll have a little shop. <laughs> we'll shop around, and see what it is. <laughs> okay. Right, well, perfect. Um, I'll do the next 
through them, I guess, and I walk out. Okay. Up to the next door, up to this one, I creep my head in. Alrighty. You peek your head in. Uh, first thing you notice is that this is not an amber sarcophagi room. Mm -hmm. um, let me actually look up what is it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, 34. Okay, as you open the door, you see a white marble bed that stands in the center of this bare stone room. It's mattress long since rotted away. Um, golden hawks perch atop the bed's corner posts. Uh, the room's remaining furnishings have been reduced to dust-covered heaps. Uh, cobwebs cover arcane sigils that were carved into the wall. Uh, ceiling's about 10 foot high. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, that's about it. Um, <coughs> Only real thing I notice is you'd say that the, the golden hawks look like they'd be pretty valuable. Mm. We know they'll well. count. If we get out of this plane, it'll be a, a, a good thing to fence. Mm -hmm. We do have the court. Doesn't mm. take anything. Fuck, that's a good, good remembrance. Yes. That's a good remember that you did there. And the, the, the gifts were given freely to us, so. I got like not to get shot full of arrows from the arrows that surrounded this room. Yep, 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 <laughs> yep, yep. I definitely <clears throat> spot something in the, one of those before, so I think we leave it. It's a good idea. Um, there's no, there's no person on the bed, is there? No. Okay. What do you think? Kick up into this one. Okay. Uh, similarly, again, it's not a sarcophagi room. Uh, but it's 35. Okay. The furnishings of this bare stone room have succumbed to decrepitude. Standing in the center of the room, its head scraping the 10 foot high ceiling is a vaguely man shaped construct made of dark wood and riveted iron. Its helmed head stares blindly in your direction. Cobwebs stretch from this artifice to the wrecked furniture that surrounds it. As you like peer and like open the door, it makes no movement nor motion. Well, that's definitely a construct of some sort. Oh yeah, yeah, that thing will fuck you up. Right then, close the door again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess we don't want to deal with it. You boys want to okay. fucking kill a construct? Kill a big fucking artificial man? Look at the other two. Like Luan seems to be in shell shock for some of these. Let's not kill yeah, how's, how's Luan doing? Is Luan feeling a bit jealous? Luan is feeling something. Jealousy is not it. Concern. Significant concern. Yeah, right I mean, now. I mean, this, this oh, doesn't, I'll go. doesn't sound like a, Why? It's something's definitely not fucking. It's not going to end well. Oh, but oh, hopefully, oh, oh. hopefully it ends after we kill Strid. You know what I mean? I don't know what you mean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's definitely going to end after we kill Strid. Definitely. Yeah. No. What happens with it? Hmm? 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 Ah, don't worry about it. Alright. Okay. So, what again? Well, I was exploring the other corridor. Uh, the one you said there was a cafe guy then. Could you take a look at those? Yes. Or... Ah, sure, let's go. Let's stay uh, absolutely warm. Well, okay, you're so into it, let's go then. I mean, you all seem like you're very clean to it. Oh, you're the one, like, suddenly, you know, leading the charge on this, that. You're not feeling jealous? Uh, not at all. Ah, okay. Not at all. Fair enough. Yeah. There are big doors back down there, aren't there? No, there are, yeah. You can look at those if you want. Yeah, it might be a good idea to have a little, little peek through them. 
Oh, all right, I'll go down and have a little picky wiki. Okay. Uh, five C. Yeah, you walk up to these big amber doors mm -hmm. that are currently closed. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you go to like try and push them, they seem to be locked. Hmm. Do you want to budget? Mm. Uh, key or something. Yeah. Right. You don't see any keyhole. For for um for mechanical purposes, and mm -hmm. I hate to do this. But you do it anyway. Oh, I'm doing it anyway. Uh, does Amber count as stone? No. Thank you. That's all I needed to know. Because it's Amber. A mineral. Stones a mineral. Yeah. Uh, Are minerals a stone? No. Mechanically like, for Dungeons and Dragons, that's also fine. Not really. In English, I mean, yes, but in geology or whatever, no, I don't think. Yeah, like I'd say Amber is not. A stone. Yeah. That is perfectly fine. Thank you very much. Can I ask why? Uh, yes, for... Ah, uh, 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 you're going to do stone shape, are you? Stone shape. That's my new favourite spell. Understandable. I just make a smaller okay. door in the door and open the door. Uh, <laughs> can we... Magic or some sort. Yeah. Try pushing on them. You try pushing and it does not budge. And there's no handles either, is there? Mm, there are, but I mean, there's like you know, like the the big circle kind of one that you can like use to pull it. Yeah. Um, there's those, but this seems to be that given there's no gouges in the floor and you can't see the hinges, you presume these doors push open and that those handles would be used to pull them closed again. Uh, um. So what but yes, there seems to be locked somehow. Have a little look around, see if we find and see anything strange. That big wizard statue is pointing at it. Yeah, it is true. Oh, what about? Uh, can I go have a look at the broken statue over here? Yeah. We 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 we. Anything anything uh anything strange about that bad boy? It's a broken statue. Is it holding any? Is it sitting on any? Pressure points, for example, or uh, anything of that nature. Oh, you can anything? determine. Okay. Okay. I see. Well, you look through this door at least. While we're up here. Only me. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you go up that door, and similarly to the door at the bottom, it does not budge, and you, there's no discernible keyhole either. Is this one still made out of amber as well? Yes. Okay. All the doors are made out of amber. Are the walls made out of amber? They're not made out of amber, but they have like amber like flowing through them. Like okay. inlaid like all over them. Mm. Oh the other corridor seems done now as well. Yeah, you've got got like six dolls then, yeah. Uh, right over that. Uh, let's go. Okay, head back to the corridor. You sure you don't want to look at the sarcophagus too? We, yeah, there's three three sarcophagus in there. We haven't looked at it yet. Well, you don't there's know two that. Of, there's two of them. I assume since there's fucking three sarcophagus in every other room, there, there's three sarcophagus in the room that he was in. It's my this? assumption. Don't have to be a cunt about it. <laughs> okay. You go up that door? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You open that door. Find yourself in a room. Um, thirty-seven furnishings made of ancient, colorless wood have collapsed under their own weight and now lie covered with cobwebs and dust. Sure. That's all it says. Oh. That, okay. That, that's it, apparently. Right. Oh. Uh, next thing <coughs> up, then, please. Yep. Okay, so that's presumably 38, yes. Okay. Uh, this room, once a bedchamber, is littered with broken furnishings. Uh, scattered about the room are the remains of a bed, a wardrobe, two trunks, three tall candlesticks, a desk, a bookshelf, and several chairs. Torn up books, old quill pens, and tattered clothes are strewn about. 
Hmm. Are any of the books of some revealing insight? Uh, you begin looking around, and amongst the books, you find a wooden scroll tube. Mm -hmm. And I imagine tentatively, like picking it up and like opening it, you find an intact spell scroll. What kind of spell scroll is it? <laughs> It is a spell scroll of Wall of Fire. I don't think I can use it, so um, I'm just going to pot that over to Len. Thank you. No problem. Is that that? What about the... No. I don't know how to fucking do scrolls. I don't know if you... Do, do you not need to... I thought you needed to be a wizard to use scrolls. Uh, I don't know how it is actually mechanically but how i've been running it in the other group when they get spell scrolls is anybody can cast them because that's kind of the point of them that makes sense okay we are sure good right? do you send me the information for this or do you want to use it i don't i don't i don't need it uh i'm gonna just look up a uh, wall of fire uh okay. spell and you have that as a spell scroll okay. Does this not mess up with the accord? Fuck, that's right. Put it back. Put it back. What? Put the, put it back. We can't take it. Why? Because Why? we're only allowed to take things that we've been given. And we've not been given this. Okay. We can't... You have to be quicker on the draw with this, mate. I keep forgetting. Okay. I'd just like to say that to you, Zeal. <sighs> <laughs> Why did that How, I... How could I? We're gonna get fucked by a lich if I we don't fucking pick that up. This temptation or do a morality check. It's, what do you mean? It's a. I mean, if you want to take it, you can just take it. Touch nothing but the lamp. No, I don't know. <laughs> Such a good spell, though, isn't it? Touch nothing but the lamp. What do you do, Len? Do you put it back, or do you put it in your backpack? I don't know. Is there a way for me to check how good I am? What do you how mean? Good or bad I am, like morally speaking. That's up to you. Uh, no. What do you, do you think, Len? Is a morally good person? At this point, she's been in Barovia for far too long. Things are not the same. What, what would Len do? You've been handed the scroll by Grigori, and then Grigori... Oh, well, Yusil says, wait, that's against what we were told. And Grigori says, no, put it back. What does Len do? Your old lich friend that you said was you were fucking scared of said that we shouldn't be picking any shit up. No. I said we should take the things that we came here to take. I just said we shouldn't fight things unless we absolutely have to. You we don't wanna, go looking you for wanna, enemies. You're, are, you're fucking looking for an enemy if you pick that up. You know what I mean? Fine then. Fine, yes. I'll leave it behind. And as you, as you say <laughs> that, you slip it into your pocket. No. Can you put it back? Yeah. That's very, that's very, that's very mature of you. Thank you. Len is, is doing it willingly, but... And Vida is angry as fuck. is not. As you put it back, and you all exit the room again... Ooh, wait, wait, I have, I have a question, wait. Sorry. What, how does spell scroll work? Uh, does it mean, like, if you read it, you know how to do it? Uh, you can cast it once, so you can. I think though there is a rule. Like I think you can, if you find a spell scroll for something, you can copy that spell into your spell book. Mm -hmm. You can, yes, but it takes like it takes or... like a long time though. Yeah. Okay, no, because I was gonna say if I was gonna say that Len has absolutely opened it and read it. So if that means she knows the spell, then that's that. No, I think you need to. Uh, like, no, you need to copy, copy the details into uh... your spell book so you do. That's when a spell is copied from a spell scroll, this copier must succeed on an arcana check with a DC equal to 10 plus the spell's level. If the check succeeds, the spell is successfully copied. 
Whether the check succeeds or fails, the spell scroll is destroyed. Okay, never mind then. It's just, no. It's, it's put away. Okay. As you put it back and step into the room, mm -hmm. you'll hear that voice once more from the beginning. Yeah. Tread carefully. <coughs> you will not be allowed another chance at hesitation. We're forgetful, mate. You're forgetful. Oh. Right, next room. Okay. You come up to the door and you <coughs> open it. And you find a sarcophagi room. Pretty much the exact same as the two you found previously. The only difference is you see Casimir. Ah. And he's, he's massive, hold on. My god, he's a chunker. Jesus, fuck. Oh, Casimir, you really fucking accepted something there, did you? You see him just kind of like sitting against the wall. Casimir. Uh, as, as you like walk in, he like looks up and notices you. Like, ah, oh, uh, you say it. He like stands up. Still there? I'm still here. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to just run off like that. No, That's it's fine. Ruined it as well. I had my own business to attend to here. That is why I helped you all get here. And that That's business good. is concluded. Are you happy with how it's concluded? Very. Well, congratulations, Check. I guess. Would you like to share what that business was? He looks at you. Doesn't say anything for a good, like, five seconds. I would not. Mm. Hmm. Say, say the lot next to the way and just... Not gonna lie, it's a little bit fucking suspicious. <laughs> Look at the room he is in. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Saying it's a little... You are in no position to judge. I mean, I think I'm in every position to judge. None of you are. He did the exact same thing you all did. He like, no. kinda looks at you all and... Did... Some of you accept gifts? Yeah, I, I did. did. I, don't, I don't think this is... A, I don't think this is any room to start throwing out accusations, real. Oh, I'm not accused anybody. I, I was merely going to say then... You all... Understand, then. Mm -hmm. Sometimes to achieve what we desire, we need a little boost. Exactly. Mm. Sorry though, not everybody is uh, as holier than thou than Tom. I never claimed as such. You claimed it right there now, but whatever. No, I didn't. I'm just saying he's not being suspicious, because none of us are being suspicious. It's a little suspicious, though. What? What? Yeah, it sounds a little suspicious, Mike. <laughs> uh, if it's too much to ask, would any of you share what gifts you received? I, I in turn, would share mine. I'll share mine. I did not realize you all were so open minded. I can become undetectable. Interesting. I can shoot a lightning bolt. That would be very useful. I've been, uh, I've, I've, I'm now the champion of uh, Fekri, the Queen of Boxes. Ah, uh, don't know, don't really know what that means. 
<laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but it's... <laughs> Uh, like a bitch. I can become undetectable. Oh, cool. I can shoot lightning. Oh, that's really handy. I am the champion of the Queen of Poxes. <laughs> this, this bad guy was only evasive. The Queen of Poxes sounds pretty. Like, uh... What can you do? I am the champion. <laughs> the champion of the Queen of Poxes. can do nothing, sadly. Those are some very fine gifts. Uh, I. Myself, except the power to raise the ancient dead. Huh? You fucking what? Understandable. I want to bring my sister back. My, that is. Can can more than one person get that power? Because that's a. I, it's... I don't know. You would, I suppose, need to. No, that's what I call the power. First sarcophagi. Which 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 the coffee guy was it? Uh, this one. I mean, gestures to like the one that's on the right hand side of the room. Stop. Go up and touch it. Yes. And nothing happens. <laughs> uh, when I when I touch it, as I notice nothing happens, I would like to go. <laughs> <laughs> you do so, yeah. The rest you see. Uh, Gregory looks like he's being electrocuted. No. No. Nah, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> Yourself together, Gregory. You already got one power. Yeah, the gift has been accepted. It cannot be busted. Well, actually, it seems that way. That, yes. That one. <laughs> that one was taken by you, Casimir. Yes. Gregory, touch one of the other ones. Why don't you do it? I don't want to. I mean, you, you, don't, you don't need to fucking find out. I'm just. I, I'm just saying. If All you're right. curious. <laughs> okay. Grigori! Uh -huh. You touch another one. Yep. Um, let's see, do you touch the one in the middle or the one at the left? Let's go with left first. Info. Okay. Just say info, info, copper, info, gold. Boop. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Uh, the one on the left, sorry? Yes. Yes, okay, uh, that's... Sorry for sarcophagus, so... Okay. You are mentally transported to a kingly throne room, carved of pure marble and decorated by ornate wall hangings and tapestries of gold and purple. Tall and proud throne sits upon a raised dais at the room's end, carved of gold and gilded of platinum. Upon the front seat, resting on a soft violet pillow, rests a golden crown, inset with many beautiful and priceless gems. Upon the steps, just slightly down from the throne, sits a slender and quite handsome young man. He wears fine robes of deep blues and blacks and wears a simple dagger at his side. He looks up at you. Ah, a visitor. He like looks at you a second. Grigori, a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I am Xanthras, the Kingmaker. Alright, mate. How are you doing? Doing pretty good. Um, just getting getting kind of familiar with this place. Um, that's how I, I take it. You're you're similar to the other to the other denizens here. He kind of leans back a little bit lazily. I suppose one could say I am. We're all very different, I suppose, but the one thing that unites us all is, well, people's fear of what we can do. Oh. I myself think that my power is far from something to be frightened of. Would you like a taste of it? A gift? A gift I offer freely. Can I ask what it is? Uh, boop, boop, boop. The power of great presence and force of personality. Mechanically, uh, allows you to re-roll any persuasion, intimidation, or deception check three times a day. Well, 
well, I'm not gonna lie. That does sound like a excellent gift. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's probably gonna be wasted on me. I say as I just as a fucking bits fall off me, crumbs fall off me onto the fucking ground in this whole room. But what I'll do is I'll have a little chat with my compatriots, some of whom are a little bit more kingly in themselves, and I can get back to you. Would that be all right? His bro kind of furrows a little bit. That's not quite how this works, Grigori. You touch the sarcophagi. You make the choice. You don't get to just pop in and out as you please, I'm afraid. Oh. I'm, unfortunately, I'm kind of already a, kind of already adjusted to another person. Um, that means nothing to me. Yeah, I think it means. You seem to like me. a friendly, nice guy, Gregory. <laughs> I think my gift could help you do great things. I've kind of gave more than one gift at once. Why not? A gift is a gift. Can I... Can I fucking incite this, please? Sure. This guy... seems... sus. Uh, I mean, he seems completely truthful. You believe him. But you don't see your reason, like, I mean... Why wouldn't you be able to have multiple gifts? You know? Somebody offers you something, you take it. Somebody else offers you something. Why can't you have both? Why shouldn't you have both? Corey, you deserve both. Hmm. I think I'm... Yeah, I think I'm going to apologize and uh, hit out, if that's alright. Uh... Thanks, thanks very much, though. Uh. <sighs> That's a shame, Grigori. Uh, I do apologize for what comes next, then. Oh, don't like that. Don't As you like that. pop back in the sarcophagi room, mm -hmm. make me a cultural and saving throw. Son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> You begin to feel like a wit pressing down in your head. Mm -hmm. And it begins pushing you down and down and down for a few seconds mm -hmm. before the tension like releases and it's gone. Can, can I tell what he was attempting to do? You cannot. Hmm. Wait, wait, wasn't a fucking good feeling. Um, I said no to him. Um, learned a couple of other things. Uh, apparently, you can only, only you who touched the sarcophagus in the first place can get a deal out of him. And uh, I don't know if you can touch it again for another person to go in. What is he offering? Oh, he was offering. He was offering uh, great kingly persuasive abilities. In a, I don't think that's that's not for me. It's not for me, mate. Sounds fair. You know. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. So um, okay. I think he tried to hurt me. Didn't work, which is good. I can imagine he get pretty pissed off if he doesn't know. Yeah, yeah, it, don't, it didn't seem very nice. Oh, fair enough. <coughs> so, uh, so yeah. Is the other one then? Um, I mean, I'm good. I'm good if you want to try the next one. I'm happy with mine. Then, what are you? Yeah, I'll go. Why not? Okay. So you touched the last recovery guy? Yeah. So the middle one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let me just scroll.
Okay. You touch that sarcophagi and are mentally transported to a vast ossuary built to resemble a throne room, but forged entirely out of bones. Lightless grey flames burn in countless sconces, carved from skulls and mounted upon the walls, which themselves are built of interlocking femurs and decorated with rib cages, organized in sickening patterns. At the centre of the chamber, behind a throne forged of skulls, ribs, clavicles and femurs, towers a serpentine worm with a body formed of jagged grey spikes, its head terminating in a massive toothed-filled maw that extends beyond the edges of its body, without eyes or other facial features. Twin skeletal wings extend from its back, its vast wing span brushing against the edges of the chamber. As it, like, notices you, it begins to, like, kind of sliver towards you, it, like, raises up a little bit. Gift, I offer. I, Tarakamides, the grave worm the gift of flight i'm really genuinely excited about that she's genuine she's super hyped for this no catch soar above your enemies Sure, give it to me. Hmm? I'll take it. Sit upon the throne. Okay. She like okay. step forth. You go up to this throne made of bones and sit down on it. The second you do, you feel like stabbing pain uh in in your back, like Below you, just below your shoulder blades, and um, as you, sorry, I forgot to say the mechanically. Mechanically, you get to cast a fly spell three times a day. Um, as you uh, sit down, you feel that pain. You're back in the sarcophagi room. The pain slowly subsiding, and it's gone. And when you cast the fly spell, if you do, you manifest a pair of giant skeletal wings. Ooh. Oof, nice. Does she lose the pair of the dog? Well, they know they what to try to cast, I guess. Fucking got us there, I guess. Has he tried to cast it? No, 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 like... Uh, as each of you step out of the sarcophagi again, you know, you feel like a tingling of like whatever power you received. Mm -hmm. But after like 10 15 seconds, it's like pretty much completely faded. That's how we felt before, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, like, you don't think that this has replaced the other power, you're pretty sure you still have the other one as well. Okay. Just be safe, so we try casting everything, but... Do you want? I mean, I'm going to cast lightning bolt in here. On the sarcophagi? Oh, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Isn't it a single target? Yours look a bit more like this, Nathan. <laughs> Hot, 10 out of 10. <laughs> okay, yeah, never mind. Save for the outdoors. Yeah. Uh... Okay, cool. Why did we come here again? <laughs> that's what the sidetrack. Yes, we did. Well, we found peasant here, so that's a good thing. Now we can move on. Yeah. There's a weapon here. I'm looking for it. We are looking for it. Well, that's, that's not a good... 
we're gonna have to find if make sure that somebody gives us are you sure these aren't the weapons they are absolutely perhaps the true weapon was the friends we made along the way what, the friends the friends of fucking demons or whatever the fuck all right let's we'll keep, keep looking for a weapon then I guess if it's not on this floor, it must be further away. Shall we? Well, I guess so. Should we find a way through those doors? Uh, what are the spells that we got were the weapons to begin with? Yeah, but, that's, yeah, but I don't think there's a weapon that he's talking about. Hmm. I see a face to the skull. He awaits you at the end of a long, winding road, deep in the mountains. It tells of a weapon of vengeance, a sword of sunlight. None of these are sorts of sunlight, as far as I can tell. No, mine certainly isn't. Yeah, mine neither. Well, uh, up just, just to make sure, up here, oh, up at the top here, that's where the nothics are, yes? That's where you think nothics are. That's where, where the nothics are. Else, yeah. Yes. Yeah. We can't go down anyway. Can we? No, we can go up. You can the trap door to the floor above. Yeah, yeah, it's not a bad idea. Give that a little shot. Just need to figure out how to get up there. So up to the trap door? Yeah. Well, I can get up there and no problem. It's up everybody else. I, I mean, I... you fly up there, you drop a rope down. Easy peasy. It's a good plan. Okay, I'll give it a go. Yeah. You go over to that room, I guess. Okay. Does it... Tell us if it, this looks like a trap door that people will like climbed up to like push up and get up a floor, or is this like people are dropped through this? Going by so the hinges, that... it looks like it drops like down, like ah. as in whatever's up there would come down. Uh, this doesn't look like the right to the trap door. Hmm. Okay, let's investigate the statue again, actually. I go have a look the, at statue. the big statue? Mm -hmm. Um go up to it again. Bup, bup, bup. Yeah. Forty foot tall statue, cowled figure in flowing robes. Statue snowing hands outstretched as if in the midst of casting a spell. But the face is a void of utter blackness. Nothing else about it, nothing around the rim, no hidden buttons or switches or um let's see yeah maybe a perception check okay mm -hmm. 24. okay You're kind of like looking around, you go looking around the back of the statue and you noticed at the at the back of the statue there seems to be a secret door. Oh, I found the door here. Fucking hell. Oh. Give, it a, give it a push. Okay. Give it a push and it opens. So what's inside? Step inside and see a spiral staircase that just runs up the length of the statue to the right top. Oh, up I go then. Okay. Begin heading up. Okay, you begin heading up. Whenever you get... Um... Let's see. Let us be seen. One of you probably take like three or four steps up the um, stairs. You hear that voice once more. But before it appeared to speak to you all telepathically. Uh, this time, you see it, you hear it coming from the top of the statue. Not another step, if you value your life. This is my sanctum. 
Fair enough. Do you know how to open the doors to get lower into the temple? They are sealed with arcane locks. Do you know how they could be opened? With the correct passphrase. That knowledge is lost to me. Hmm. Hmm. Is there a way to unlock this some other way that we can see? Unlock what? Like instead of the past race. Uh, Len, you probably know being a wizard, like, Arcane Lock, the spell, mm -hmm. can only be unlocked with either the Passphrase or the Knock spell. Mm. Okay. I think it's called Knock, isn't it called Knock? The spell that undoes it? Can I... I think it's called Knock. Can I cast a spell magic on it? If I recall, I think Arcane Lock specifies that Dispel Magic doesn't do anything. Let's have a look at Arcane Lock. Let me just double check. A Knock spell does not remove an Arcane Lock. Oh, is it not? It only suppresses the effect for 10 minutes. Oh, so, so yes it does, then. Oh, uh, uh, otherwise, a door or secured object with a spell can be opened only by breaking in or with a secure, successful Dispel Magic or Knock spell. Oh, does it say this one like this? <coughs> yep. Hmm? That's not an arcane lock, it says at all. It does not it say not? dispel magic works on Am it. Am I reading a fucking different thing? It does say the spell is dispelled. Yeah, it says or the spell is dispelled. I think that means by the caster. Not necessarily. Well, it says, like... It is impossible until it is broken, or the spell is dispelled or suppressed. Casting knock on the object suppresses arcane lock for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. It does not spec- I feel like if, if dispel magic worked in the same way as knock, it would specify it there. But it doesn't work in the same way that, art, that uh, knock does, because knock suppresses it. Arcane- dispel dispels things. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't specify that dispel magic- Unlocks it. Yeah, but no spell says that the spell magic dispels it. That's what the spell magic. I feel says. like a lot of them do. Do they not? Like a lot of spells that are like this, they specifically say in the description, like da 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 da, unless dispelled by the spell magic or something. Do they not? I don't know. Knock is a lower level spell than spell magic, but somebody look up if there's a tweet from Jeremy Crawford. Crawford. <laughs> You'll have an answer. Is it? What it's saying to spell magic, maybe? I feel like that's the sort of thing to spell magic might specify. So, Dispel Magic and Spells. My creature object or magical effect. Yeah. Yeah. I'll say this, there are a lot of spells, like, symbol, uh, that have a duration as until dispelled. Spelled would be either by the caster or by someone, or some other caster. Uh, Arcane Lock does say until dispelled. Yeah. Uh... Uh... yeah, okay, it would work then, I guess. Wonderful. 
go up to the door. Do have to spell magic? Yes, I do. I go up to Jeez, the door. Fuck. That's, I never thought we'd have that for this. I go up to the door. Uh, I'll go up to this one first, sure. Go up to the door and... Uh, first, you sail. Do you leave the staircase of the tower? The yeah, I, I go back down. Yeah, okay. I just step out of it again. The door closes. Yeah, pretty much. You cast a spell magic on that door, Nathan? Yes, please. Just Jolly good. I just cough fucking plague spores on the door. Okay. Uh, you cast it. Mm -hmm. there, was, there was no visual change. You go to push the door and it budges slightly. There we go, boys. Just push. Okay. <coughs> Shove the door open. Mm -hmm. And find yourself in what could only be described as a treasury. Fuck me, boys. Every time. Every time. He's, he's making this harder. He's making this much harder every time. And mm -hmm. I'm not liking it. <laughs> yeah. Piles of treasure are heaped against the west and east sides of the room in like six distinct piles. Fuck me. Oh, Is it treasure? Do you mean money? Or do you mean... Yes. Money? Objects. Yes, I mean money. I mean Scrooge right. McDuck piles of gold and silver and copper. Gentle reminder to anyone who's thinking of touching this, we can't. Yeah. Do you want to begin read out uh, some of the things that are in this? Uh... Hold on, here's, here's, a, here's a question. Um, can you hear me? Hello? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can hear you. Are you talking to the... I'm talking to the guy in the fucking top of the tower. My... <laughs> If you kind of specifically are like... Yeah, Mr. Record Guy. Yes. Does our record apply to anything further into the temple? It applies to the whole temple. Understood. <laughs> I'd look at Loon pointedly. Oh, sorry. It applies to everything within the temple. We cannot take anything we're not given. Yes. We can't take anything we're not given. Sorry, what did you say? It does apply say. to this floor. Even if we go, go further into the temple and find your weapon, yes. we can't take it. Okay. What? Okay. We came here for that, but Louis. That's why I'm going to take it. Okay, so shouldn't we do something about uh, uh, uh? I think I would like to have that beforehand. Fair enough. Mm. Alright, other door Gregory, let's go. Yeah, oh, what's, uh, what's at the end of this uh, hallway, of this room here? It looks like there's a big fucking stonking hole in the wall. Is that correct? There is a big stonking hole in the wall. A big stonking hole. I can't even see Gregory. <laughs> it's just like that. I'll um, second, boys. Back in a second. Bup, bup, bup. Yeah, just basically like a fissure. Um, unnatural, well, not carved out of stone, but there's like just like cracks that seem to lead into like another room. Um, oh, there's some cracks that will go into another yeah. room up here, boys. Uh, do you all pass through the treasury? Mm -hmm. No, okay. I've not been in yet. Oh, you haven't gone in? Mm -hmm. You're going through it? Yep. Word or not? Mm, sure, why not? Okay. Does anybody want to know what's in the treasure piles? What's yeah, in the treasure what's piles? In the treasure piles. Give us a fucking treasure pile. Just because it's like kind of fucking ridiculous. Give come it on, to then, me. Let's come go. on, come on. Okay. Pile one. Seventeen thousand five hundred copper. Uh, oh, Thirty okay. gemstones, fifty gold each. Three rusted suits of art, plate armor. Nine rusted shields. A child-sized sarcophagus made of black wood and laid with gold. Pile two. 12,000 silver pieces, 5 rusted ring, suits of ring mail, and 6 rusted breastplates, a silvered rapier with a pink glass hilt, 
four rusted greatswords, a gilded chariot. <laughs> what the <laughs> fucking... Why? Isle free. 6,600... I guess it's Electrum in this. We'll just change it to gold. Um, <coughs> each coin stamped with the profiled visage of Strad. 75 empty bottles. A trunk filled with six fine dresses and gowns. 10 pieces of jewellery and 500 gold in a rotten wooden chest. Eight painted ceramic statues of saints. Pile four. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a pile of iron ingots worth 250 gold total. 30 holy symbols of gods from various worlds. <laughs> Jesus Christ. A set of 12 copper chalices with silver filigree. A gilded skull with red garnets in its eye sockets. Eight war hammers and six war picks. Pile 5. 9,000 silver pieces. Six non-magical crystal balls. A bronze crown of tiny gem-eyed dragons for spires. A life-sized wooden pony. Six (laughs) marble vases. Pile 6. 7,000 wooden coins painted gold. (laughs) 15,000 copper and 15 iron... Sorry, 15,000 copper pieces in 15 iron pots. <laughs> An obsidian scepter with gold filigree, worth 2,500 gold. Does... 11 rusted helms, and 15 thin leather bound tomes, all of them signed copies of a storybook called Snow Dwarf and the Seven Whites by Nitch Rackme. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> None of that interests anybody? No, you don't I mean, want to take I it? Mean, I'm, I'm, we're, t- we're robbing yeah. this fucking place blind when we kill this lich in this session. <laughs> in one session when we kill this fucking lich. But until then... We're going to oh, pretend like we yeah. don't want anything. Yes. Okay. So, you step through the cracks, Gregory. You find yourself in a very large room, and immediately you notice there is a white marble staircase, spiral staircase leading up to the floor above. There are three large amber sarcophagi at Mm -hmm. different points of the room, and there are about six wooden crates. Hmm. Okay. What's the Amber sarcophagi. Hmm. What's in the kit? Got one? Yep. Uh, is everybody else following one, by the way? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Just move yourselves if you would. Uh, Lan as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. As you go up to the crate, Gregory, and you go to, like, pull it open, mm-hmm. once you touch it, the roof of the crate bursts open, and you find yourself face-to-face with a vampire spawn. Back up! Back and up, boys! Back up! The other five all immediately burst open, and there are six vampire spawn before you. And that's where we'll end the session. Fucking son of a bitch. Fuck yes. Oof. I'll, uh, nice. Just, uh. Slap them on. But. Oh, reveal yeah. them? Not gonna lie. I have a question. Mm-hmm. See, the, see the tunnel that we came through? How wide is that and how tall is that? Uh, it's like 10 foot tall and it's probably like 4 feet wide. I could seal that up with stone shape. <laughs> yeah. Whether or not all four of your party members can get back through there before the six vampire spawn grab you all. That's that's also true. So Son of a bitch. Yeah, the six burst out of these crates, um all look very much like your typical adventurers. Oof. You see one in like plate mail, a great sword in his hands. You see one looks like an elf female wearing like levers of a pair of daggers. Another one bare chested holding a giant mace. Hmm. 
It's mm -hmm. all very like adventurer looking. Yeah. GG, good session. Good shit, boys. Good session. I'm so glad you accepted some gifts. Oh. <laughs> of this course. Gift, huh? There's definitely no downside to this gift. Absolutely right. not. No. Yeah. But come on, did we all really think that we were going to kill Strat and then actually make it out alive? Oh, I, mean, I'm, I don't know about you guys. I am, making, I am making it out alive. Paul's gift, mm -hmm. able to become undetectable to gods and man, and Rita's gift, able to fly and cast lightning down from the skies. Nathan's gift, basically just this. Just click on the timestamp. What is this going to be? <laughs> give you a limit. Not the werewolf one. You just have a wasting disease now. <sighs> God damn it. That's, uh, that's pretty good. It's pretty accurate as well. That's, that's, yeah, that's pretty accurate. Yeah, I'm happy, I'm happy so... with that. Thank you very much for that. Oh, no, thank you. Thank you. Thank you sincerely for accepting gifts. <laughs> we got, we had to. We fucking had to. No, you, you didn't. Yes, we fucking didn't. did. Yes, we fucking you know, did. Oh, I forgot to move yeah. Casimir with you guys. Casimir's still with you guys, by the oh, way. Okay. He would have traveled along. Um, he's with you too. You know how we did you know why we didn't know that race? <laughs> how how you didn't what sorry? We never asked. That's <laughs> 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 actually pretty good. Oh, I'm very happy. <laughs>